Here we go. We are back for another live stream. Play by play with the hockey coach guru. Coach Francis Rackley from the beautiful Sunshine State in Florida. We are tonight in New Jersey because the Montreal Canadiens are on the road for the next four games. They play against the New Jersey Devils tonight. Montembeau is going to be between the pipe. Uh, last, yesterday, Montreal surprised the Toronto Maple Leaf win their 18th game of the season, beat the Toronto Maple Leaf by a score of 4-2. Officially, for the Montreal, they are officially the first team in NHL to eliminate for the upcoming playoff 2021-2022. But we are going to finish strong the year like we're doing right now with the new coach, the head coach, Martin St. Louis. So it'll be interesting to see how the Montreal Canadiens is going to play again that tonight against the Devils, where both teams are in the eighth uh, standing of their own division, one for the Atlantic, for the Montreal, and New Jersey are eight in the Metropolitan Division. Uh, we have a couple of more injuries uh, happening for the Montreal Canadiens yesterday. Uh, Michael Pesetta uh, leave, uh, left the game uh, during the first period, and also uh, Tyler Pitlick, uh, with a concussion left at the first um, appearance on the ice. Uh, and that's what make a couple of modifications for the Montreal Canadiens uh, by the head coach, Martin St. Louis. Tonight, uh, for the first time uh, of the season, he got trade for the Montreal Canadiens with Colorado. The trade uh, sent after Rilly Conan. We got the rookie of 20 years old, Justin Barron, is going to be a uh, play for the Montreal Canadiens tonight as the right defenseman pairing with the veteran number 44, Juan Edmondson, is going to be played together. We have also Mathieu Perrault, the veteran of 33 years old, is going to be in the lineup. And the rookie, uh, 22 years old, Jesse uh, Allenin, got a uh, call up from uh, the Laval Rocket uh, yesterday and joined the team to play with the Montreal Canadiens uh, tonight at 7 o'clock against the Devils. Uh, on the flip side, Jordan Dan Drouin is going to be maybe out for the rest of the season with a possible a surgery on the right uh, wrist. Uh, he's going to get a second opinion from the doctors during the week, and we're going to hear about uh, what's going to happen with him for the Jonathan Drouin. We have, of course, uh, Gallagher now pushed for at least one more week uh, about that one over there. So, uh, of course, uh, Gallagher is at least seven to ten days uh, uh, Carey Price is going to be right now on the hill nest, so it's going to be interesting if Carey Price is going to be around the team uh, during the trip at some point. And then we have, of course, Jeff Petrie is out indefinitely uh, possible, could be until the end of the season, so something we have to follow up. Very difficult trip for the Montreal Canadiens, four games on the road tonight with the Devils, then they play Tuesday again the Florida Panthers, and then Thursday uh, they are going to be in uh, Carolina again, the Hurricanes, and then finally Saturday is going to be again the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, so a couple of games already uh, and an NHL start uh, afternoon. The Tampa Bay Lightning win uh, by a score of four to one. Uh, another great performance. Tampa Bay now they stand a little bit over the Toronto Maple Leafs. Toronto Maple Leafs have an amazing, uh, not amazing, but an important game tonight against the Florida Panthers. Uh, if they want to stay in the race of the Atlantic Division to finish third or second. So after the last yesterday, what a performance that Jake Allen last night stopped 49 of the 51 shot he faced yesterday. And uh, we'll be interested to see what, uh, how they're going to respond tonight. The Toronto Maple Leaf again, the power machine of the Florida Panthers. We're going to follow both games tonight. Um, from the from the house here, so I'm going to give you everything what's going on with Toronto Maple Leaf and of course the Montreal Canadiens. A couple of more team uh, games going on right now. The Pittsburgh OMG. The last time I watched the score, I believe it was six to one uh, at some point uh, between the Pittsburgh and the seven two now again the Detroit after 40 minutes. Uh, the Rangers Sabers after 40 minutes is a three three. And suddenly, uh, surprisingly, the Flowers lead uh, 2-0 over the Nashville after 20 minutes. It's 0 at the 20 minutes. Very important game between the Colorado Avalanche against the Minnesota Wild. Uh, that's what we had at that moment. A few more games going to start at 7 o'clock, of course. Uh, eight game of the program today, so we appreciate a lot. Mr. Rodney Redcliffe in the house. And Rodney said what he said. He said, Super Chat. Here we go! 
Super Chat Ronnie Redcliffe Rivers Super Chat Ronnie Redcliffe Thank you Super Chat um, We have already few people in the house afternoon Mr. Yamo Vertenen Directly from Finland Samuel Adias, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us today. Um, I don't know if he's in Sweden or he's in Finland, but welcome back, Mr. Niklas Lan and the house. Hey, notre ami, notre ami Denis Rodrigue. Il est de retour avec nous ce soir, Mr. Denis Rodrigue. Welcome back. And we have our friend, notre ami Tipolo Fulo in the house. Gérard, welcome back, Gérard. I saw a little bit earlier. Go, abs, go, Gérard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, merci d'être avec nous ce soir. Um. Uh, honestly, I don't know Yamo. I don't follow a lot of Oscar Award. You can ask me any movies. I only know one. Well, I know um, a few of them. I only know all the rookie, uh, the Rockies uh, movie with Sylvester Stallone. And then I know only Rudy. Uh, that's pretty much what I know in movies. Maybe not, but I'm not really expert. I'm very, really bad. And... Uh, And Oscar, honestly, uh, about that one over there. Mr. Norm Bright, uh, welcome back. <laughs> Toronto play tonight, you're going to flare up and turn. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. Montreal on the RDS, uh, if you live in Ken Montreal, you're absolutely right. Uh, Mr. Ren Smith Fishing, welcome aboard. Here we go, Joseph. Thanks for all the update. Uh, Mile Wood is playing. Uh, I think he has a hip problem or what I read today. Tyson is scratching and uh, that is clouding in the net. Uh, after the thought, they told me it was a Gillies. Uh, I don't know what's going on sometime. I don't like what they are doing to me. Why did you do this to me? Uh, down is starting um, for the... We're going to check this. I'm going to put this right there. We're going to fix this. Can we can fix this? Ah, uh, we're going to fix the best we can about that one over there. Uh, I'm going to fake and drive. Yes, I saw that over there. Uh, Uh, non, Alexis, euh, pas d'accord avec toi à propos de OB, UKL, euh, UG, UKBL, oui, non, QBL, non, tous différents euh, joueurs de hockey, Alexis. Euh, salut, Luc Lafortune. Blackhawks, fan 97, welcome aboard. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Blackhawks, Nick, Kate, Harper, and Joshua, and the house, welcome aboard. Uh, Robert Allen, coach, no more talk. Your helmet is great. Uh, it's you, <laughs> Robert. Thanks for joining us today also. Uh, Rocket 18181, back in the house. Honestly, I'm not sure if Rocket is back in the house because um, I never see Rocket 1811811. So maybe welcome in the Hockey Nation I show family. Thanks to join us uh, about that. Uh, yeah, Montreal got three penalties during the third period where the Do Toronto Maple Leaf dominate 24 shot versus three. Again, the Montreal Canadiens. We have Mr. Rod Jerry Jean in the house. Welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, that's what we get. Uh, what's up? And not much, Mr. Rand. Ready for rock and roll. Mr. Danny T. Back in the house. The moderator, collaborator of the Hockey Nation live show. Be careful. Be careful because you're going to get punched by Mr. Danny T. Danny is the man checking what's going on in the chat. The only thing we ask you, please, 
only, only re be respectful between each one of you. Do not bully anybody, uh, bullying anybody. Just respect what has uh, the love of the hockey you have, and uh, that'd be awesome. We love each one of you. You know you are an amazing person with a big heart, and you respect everybody. I know already because you are inside the Hockey Nation live show. Ren Smith, welcome back. Uh, then we have... Uh, Roger Gérin, Jean is in the house. Welcome back, Mr. Jean. Le Clefosson, I de voir Baron. Uh, Baron. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, Luc, uh, uh, je comprends pas. Luc Clefosson, welcome back, by the way. By the monkey. Welcome back in the house. Uh, but I'm okay. I went with the Panthers tonight on my uh, parlay. So I took the Panthers by two gold tonight, but I'm okay. So we may tell us thing about that one over there. Uh, Pro Dog Hockey, welcome back. <laughs> Coach, with did Sir get right? Uh, the Florida Panthers, um, Florida Panthers, uh, Pro Dog Hockey. Ellen, uh, je le compare à Evans, no. Uh, pas encore, Alexis. Uh, C'est uh, uh, Elonen, Alexis, c'est un joueur offensif avec un excellent coup de patin. Evans, OB, uh, Kubel ont plutôt des joueurs dé défensifs avec des uh, avec limités, avec des joueurs avec uh, l'offensive. C'est des joueurs travaillants qui sont des forward checkers, uh, qui sont des back checkers. Donc, uh, avec uh, Elonen, et c'est plutôt un joueur offensif avec des très bonnes mains, très belle vision, un très beau lancé. Donc, c'est pas pareil. C'est de, vraiment deux différents types de joueurs, la façon que tu parles présentement. Uh, Adam Burger, collaborateur et decider of the... Moderator of the Hockey Nation Show and the Vegas Golden Knight. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back, uh, Mr. Uh, Martinez. She said, it would be interesting what's going to happen about the Golden Knights. Can they make the playoff? Uh, they are in the race right now with the Dallas Star, the Nigerian Predator. And uh, it would be interesting. I, 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 cannot, I, don't, I cannot see how Vancouver and uh, Winnipeg can come back in that race. Uh, I don't see this, you know. At that moment, I believe both of them are eliminated. And there's going to be that race between Dallas, Vegas, and the Nigerian Predator at that moment uh, for that one over there. Thank you, Mr. Rocket, to tell Mr. Brodog. Hey, Mr. <coughs> Not this one. Apologize. You are awesome. The Bro Bowler from Kentucky. Welcome back, Mr. Allen. Irene Vaillancourt. Welcome. Well, on souhaite la bienvenue. Welcome for the first time, Mr. Willet 80. Back, not back, but welcome in the house. We go to Sunny Wiscom. For the première fois, Mr. Willet 80. Here we go. Reverse, Mr. Willet 80. Willet 80 est dans la maison du Hockey National Show. J'espère que c'est abonné à nous autres. Merci d'être avec nous. Et ça nous fait vraiment plaisir de vous dire bonjour. Audrey Calabro, Sport, the insider of the, all the updates inside the Hockey National Show, is with us tonight. Welcome aboard. It's West taking bidding again. Look, is not looking good. Yamo about that. By the way, who is uh, you ask call, Mr. Yamo? Um, 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 who was very good in the past? What, Sean Avery? No, maybe not. Uh, Robert Mayotte back in the house. High five, Mr. Robert. Merci d'être avec nous ce soir. Thanks, j'espère que ça va très bien. Ça va très, très bien, moi aussi. J'espère que ça va bien, toi. Welcome back, RJ. Sacha Schrader, the commander, sponsor, the Hockey Nation Live Show, back with us. 
Sasha Schrader back in the house uh, about that one over there. I don't know if you follow hockey last night, but uh, did you see the score between Calgary and Edmonton? It looked like it was like, a, I don't know, like a, a beer league score, nine to five. Unbelievable uh, to see that last night uh, between the Edmonton and the uh, The Calgary Flame, an amazing great night for Backlum for them. It was a crazy game, to be honest with you. I tried to put the game on for the Montreal Canadiens, so I, I apologize about that one over there. Tali, Robert, what? Who la? Et là, tu le compares à qui? C'est très dur, Alexis, pour l'instant. Elle comparé, il a seulement joué une quelques parties dans la ligne nationale. Um, comme je, te dis, comme je te disais tantôt, Alexis, c'est un joueur offensif avec une très bonne, très bon coup de patin. Il y a des très bonnes mains. Euh, donc, c'est comme ça que tu pourrais le, le comparer pour l'instant. Tous les joueurs qui sont offensifs euh, avec des, des, des très bonnes mains. Euh, ça ne vient pas dans ma tête là, pour l'instant. Euh, puis, je ne veux pas dire que le, le, son éthique de travail le compare, mais c'est un joueur comme à, à la Jonathan Drouin, exemple. Un joueur peut-être... Euh, Um, J'essaie de voir comparativement à des joueurs. Je ne veux pas comparer ça avec les joueurs de Ligue nationale. Il n'a pas été établi encore. Donc, uh, c'est un bon joueur qui pourrait jouer sa deuxième, sa troisième. Uh, il est capable de compter des buts. Il a juste besoin d'avoir de l'expérience. Uh, J'ai mis mon casque prêt pour le Danny. Here we go. I will watch the game tonight. Uh, Blackhawk. Awesome to see that. Uh, fan, please don't forget to slap and buddy and Danny XO. Baron, il est sur offensif? Oui, Alexis, il est très offensif. Rien senti, mon Danny. I'm doing uh, awesome, Sacha. Here we go. Uh, salut la gang, François Pitt in the house. François à six. Max. Welcome back, Monsieur François. J'espère que tout va bien. Uh, Montreux is going to win a 4 to 2. Here we go, Samuel Adias, I go, abs go. I thought to catch up with each one of you, uh, be patient until the game uh, starts. Uh, I'm going to do the best at catching everybody. About that one of them. Rangers 4-3 over the Buffalo Sabre. Thank you, RJ. I put him to walk at the bar, counting the bottle. Here we go. Uh, Canada at the Coupe du Monde. Uh, I, I think it's that soccer. Hey, I know it has nothing to do with hockey, but congratulations for the Canadian team for quali uh, qualify. Here we go, Sasha. Congratulations, Team Canada. <laughs> Harper. Blackhawk, can she understand us, Mr. Mr. Harper? Welcome to the show. Alain, ça peut être un Jonathan Marchasso? Ah, c'est pas si pire. Euh, C'est bon, une très bonne euh, comparaison, Alexis. Euh, vraiment content de ton travail. Simon Deschaines, welcome aboard. Salut, mon Simon. You are awesome. Miss Kelly, back in the house tonight. Ah, look like RJ had a great time yesterday. By the way, RJ, we talked about you last night. Say, hey, we did not see RJ. And then we said, oh my God, RJ yeah, is 152 people at the party last night. And we forgot about that. Uh, but we thought, we think about you, uh, about what happened yesterday, Mr. RJ. I'm glad you have a great time. You celebrate. And sometimes we need to celebrate. And uh, glad you look like you have a good time over there. Bryce Garrett, welcome back. So I'll kick on the term, Simon. Good luck for the Toronto Maple Leaf fans. Uh, they play against the, uh, the Panthers. Tonight, we're going to follow the game. Uh, not live, like a play by play, but everything I put the TV on for the game. So I'm really uh, live uh, because the game is honestly on the TV here in Florida. So I'm going to give you a chance. Every time you have a click, uh, a goal, I'm going to f tell you about the Toronto Maple Leaf and the Florida Panthers and the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, costume Montreal, Petit and Avant. About that, uh, look up. Uh, je pense que Elon est plus grand que ça. Je pense qu'il n'y a pas quoi. 5 pieds 10, 5 pieds 11, peut-être. Uh, je crois. Uh, Mr. Kevin TB in the chat. Welcome back with Kevin and Christian. All the fans for the leave, I wish you good luck tonight. Uh, hopefully, uh, you're going to find a way to win against the Florida Panthers. The gaming banana. One, two, three. I love it. The Gaming Banana. One, two, three. 
One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, cha, cha, cha. Now maybe not. Well, welcome back. <rires> awesome Black Ox. Ah, je peux tu je jouer comme ça dans le Snapchat? Je veux du jeu repris dans le Snapchat, moi, mais Simon, le, le hockey a changé, malheureusement, mais, mais on va voir. First time for the Team Canada to World Cup since 1986. Congratulations. Uh, it takes, what, 36 years before this happening again. Uh, many of you was not born uh, at that time of the night. Uh, uh, Nico Daz uh, is 780, 3.14, safe percentage. Uh, the game going to start in a few minutes, guys. I'm going to click right there, surely. Oh, we go, yeah. Frustration, T, Gray Man, and the house. Gray Man, and the house. Welcome, Mr. T. That was a shot. I coach, and I thought Danny, Mr. Roger, Delaney, and the house. Monty's tonight. Uh, Detroit 2, Pittsburgh 8. The key, Mr. Uh, Luke, is can he go through the first period? Justin Barron in the lineup. Matthew Perro and Jesse Allen. Have an amazing, great game, everybody. Enjoy uh, tonight. Uh, hey, Sasha, I'm going to great see you again. How are you, Kelly? And everything on that. Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. The game going to start right away. Have a bon game. Bon game, mes amis. Have an amazing, great game, everybody. And first prayer, the Montreal win the face off. Back to the D to Ramana. Ramana dumped the puck. Montreal's coming to the right side. Shoot the puck. Say bye. Da. Uh, first, uh, first opposite Montreal. One, uh, two versus one. Now Davis coming back right away. They are coming to the zone. Tata. Tata. Pass the ball right side. Uh, Montembeau. Turn around by Justin Brat. Brat right now. Control the park. Brat to the blue line. Keep the park. Deep zone in the net left side with that. Silverson right now in the park. Uh, Silverson bring the park back to uh, Brat. Brat to Tata. Tata on the blue line. Shoot the puck. Miss the net or barely touch uh, Montembo to turn around for the Montreal Canadian and intercept right up by Servicen and the Devils. But finally, the puck go back to Caulfield and it will go all the way. The take game in Toronto is already start. Uh, and the Montreal take a first opposite two versus one at the beginning of this game. Uh, and that's what we're at with uh, 19 minutes to go. Go D to D right now for the Devils. They don't pay the puck right there. Intercept the blue line. Jack Hughes, uh, the young star at 20 years old with 20, 22 gold. And the NHL with 52 points and 45 game is on the eyes of maybe one of the top best 20 players and the first serve for them. But again, Suzuki, a wrist shot and da. Uh, Make a, a save with a blocker, and that was the first opposite of the game. Welcome back, everybody. Join to join us tonight. Uh, anything, please don't forget to click on the like. They'll be awesome. They've been going sont en feu. Uh, we sont en feu. Montreal win the face up. Go D to D. Don't pin the pack. No tip. And they go back all the way back. The golden door of the tunnel. Uh, the, uh, the Devils play the puck right now. Run the puck to the butt. Pinching up by Jordan Minson. And Justin Barron, the first appearance with the Montreal Canadian right now. Uh, with the number 20. Now Davis coming out the back door. Edmonton just want to play back in the back door. Miss the Jack Hughes the recovery went out by the defensive of the Davis go reset right there. And the goal right away. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs just take the goal. The Leafs take an eight. 1-0 again, the Panthers. The puck goes back on my arm. Kick out the puck to the blue line. Check in front of the net. The tip in front of the goaltender. The Davis make a save on the side. It's going to be a, a whistle with Pit Lake and that way. It's a uh, Morgan Raleigh scored the first goal. I, I think he had a tip over the shoulder at Spencer Knight. Uh, Wegar again. Uh, Wegar had a really difficult time for the last couple of games uh, to cover his people. Uh, Chariot minus one. Uh, and the Toronto Maple Leafs take the lead 1 0 over there at that moment. And that's what we at. Uh, face off on the left side of Nico Das at the face off circle. Uh, Devorek lose the face off. Recovery by the Devils. Devils grind the park by Bastion. A check by the defensive of the, of the Montreal Canadiens. Sean Emin, the puck get deep at the zone. Battle right now with Armia. Armia lose the puck. Recovery right now. Part of the Devils don't pay the puck all the way back. And chase him right now. Bastion, uh, uh, first one to recover the puck behind the net. Uh, it's not Bastion, I believe. It's the number 44. Anyway, the Devils from control the puck right now. All the way to the blue line. Show the puck. Uh, Mountain will make a save in front of Bastion. Recovery by the Devils all the way back to the blue line. Devils deeping, dumping the puck all the way behind the net. Uh, recovery and they find the puck to Subban. Subban show the puck. Uh, stop in front of the net. Recovery by the Devils. Show the puck. Miss the net. Recovery again by the Devils. Devils retrieve all the puck all the time right now. They're attacking on the zone. Pass upon the back door. Recovery went up in the Montreal Joel Armia. Get the puck outside the zone. No chance. Um, 
Miami has struggled with the puck. Finally, don't pay the puck. And the Devils going to bring five new players on the ice. Uh, they're going to start with Ty Smith. No, it's a seven center. Seven center with the puck. When I was getting to the blue line, kick out the puck to the left side. Devils coming right there at the blue line. Come have cut control, lose the puck behind him. Recovery by the Canadian uh, recovery. Go D D And they go back outside zone by David Savard. Finally, the puck in neutral zone. Uh, don't pay by the Montreal Canadian recovery by seven center. Uh, try to get a puck outside all the way back uh, between, um, I think it's McLeod to go back right now. Shoot a puck. Montembeau make a save, no rebound. That's what we had at that moment. And, uh, good save by Montembeau uh, in front of the Romanov uh, as it be the second shot of the Devils tonight. And that's what we had at that moment. And like I mentioned, the Toronto take the lead 1-0. Jennifer B. Green and the house. Welcome aboard. On to the game, come la chaîne de télé. Merci, one hour, easy E in the house. Thanks for joining us tonight, everybody. We appreciate your collaboration. You Don't forget to click on the lights. That'd be awesome. Face off the right, left side of Montembeau. Recovery by the Montreal Canadiens. Come in a battle with the puck right now. Finally, the puck recovered by the Devils. Losing the puck. And now Josh Anderson get out of the zone. Anderson in the neutral zone. Control the puck. And go all the way back in the, def all the defensive of the Devils. And finally, the uh, Devils bon uh, pinching the puck and descend behind the net of Montembeau. Uh, Ramana for now, play a little bit, lit, uh, not very hard on that one. Of the Caulfield finally get the puck. Caulfield to the red line. Caulfield with his key. Caulfield to another defense zone. Caulfield cut. It's coming. Fire! Over the head of the Nico Da recovery right now by uh, Zaka, I believe. The puck go all the way back by Ski, bring the puck to the left side. Intercept by Caulfield. Caulfield battle for the puck, bring the puck behind the net to Ski. Uh, Anderson leave the puck all the way back to and Savar. Savar back to Ski, bring the puck behind the net. Uh, battle right now with Anderson and. Uh, I don't show who he was. And Nico, uh, Nico O'Shara bring a puck in front of the net. Intercept on the Devils going to get out of the zone. They are coming now to the blue line. Uh, a little bit less of 60 minutes remaining on the first period for the Devils and Montreal Canadiens. 0-0 at that moment. Don't pin the puck by the Devils. Battle with uh, at the blue line with Romana. Finally, Montreal win the ball uh, with the puck. But recovery right now. Probably Devils go DD. It's this time now. It's Doug Hamilton. Uh, Doug Hamilton passed the puck in the neutral zone. And uh, recovery by Jack Hughes. It's going to turn the puck while the way. it was Dawson Mercer. Now, Hamilton battle for the puck and they have the offside of the blue line going to reset with 15.31 to go at the first period. Welcome back everybody. Here we go, Macaroua. Welcome back, everybody. Mac Arroua, Peter Sheffield, Robert Jedez. Welcome back. Uh, Ryan Smith, welcome again. Hopefully, everybody have an amazing, great Sunday fun day. We call it the Sunday fun day. And you're ready to rock and roll the game. Uh, it's still Zozo and Manson with the pack. Don't pay the puck behind the goaltender. Let it leave the puck all the way back to opponent side for the defense. Right now, battle for the fourth check. Finally, they get out of the zone. A check by Byron. Now possible, uh, not a 2-1. Great pass checking by Hoffman. Honestly, the puck recovery by Manson. Read the puck to Hoffman and go outside the zone. And Hoffman diving the puck. Intercept by now by Minton. Minton recovery to D to D on the defensive zone. They're going to reset. Uh, pass the puck to the side. I believe it's Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes with full speed. It's coming to the side. Say, shoot the puck. Uh, hit the skate of the Hamilton, but recovery by Hughes all the way back to Hamilton. Hamilton back to Hughes. Hughes looking like an and that's called driver. The speed of Hughes is unbelievable. Change the direction. We know Carfield and Hughes played together a couple of years. Uh, honestly, with Team USA down the puck is still by Biron. Biron's coming to the red line. Take the puck to the side. Armia. I'm on the back door. And for the net. Oh, good opportunity for the motor again. In the recovery right now. By the Bastion. Bastion's coming to the red line. Now we go to the blue line. Kick out the puck to the blue line. We have drive the puck behind. You shoot the puck. And Montebo make a say the puck go in the stand. We have the whistle at that moment with 14, 15 to go. And we have a two shot for both teams. Great chance for the Montreal Canadian. Also on the back, great play. Armia back and find the net. A tip. And maybe uh, Biron touched the puck and the goaltender make a save. And that's what happening at that moment. And the puck go all the way back on the defensive zone. And recovery for the Devils. Don't pin the puck. And now she's seen by the Montreal Canadiens. White men run the puck around the net. And uh, I'm trying to get stuck. The music will be better. And we go. The puck go all the way back in front of Montembeau. 
Now, I don't know who should have packed. We have a battle in front of the net with Whiteman, I believe. Now, the puck go outside of the zone. Recovery went out. Put him on trial. And two versus one for Montreal. Zuzuki coming. Zuzuki's coming. Oh, the puck bounced over the skate, uh, the blade of the Zuzuki. Recovery the puck past Zuzuki. Zuzuki the blue line. We're going to change the direction. Bring to the blue line right there. Pass the puck all the way back behind the net of the Whiteman. Whiteman finally gave the puck to. Um, the Devils, and definitely Devils try to get back. Intercept by Carfield, but again, the Devils steal the park. If you're going to reset right away, they are coming now. I do not think it's Sharon Kovic. No, it's, uh, I don't know who's coming now. Kick out the park to the left side. Oh, great intercept by the Montreal Canadiens. Don't pee the park in neutral zone. The park will go set all the way back by Subban. Subban go deep deep, and they go back again for the Devils. Devils coming now, drop the park in front of the net. Over the shoulder of Montembeau, I play a good tip and corner. Thumping went out the puck by the Devils. Finally, Montreal on the back end, bring the puck in neutral zone. Southern battle for the puck with uh, um, Ilonen. Finally, the Devils reset. They are coming to the blue line. It's coming to the left side. Pass the puck behind the net uh, by McLeod. The puck turned around by Savard. Savard battle with the puck behind the net. The Savard pressure by the Devils. Finally, Montreal Canadiens going to get out. They are coming out. Roman after the red line. Roman has to the blue line. Roman has all the way back behind the goaltender. Try to get control of the puck. Right there. Turn around looking for uh, teammates. Roman has the puck all the way back to the blue line. Montreal go back to all the way to Edmondson. Shoot the puck in front of the net. Tip. No chance right there. Puck recovery went up by Hoffman. Bring the puck in the corner. It's a right now by the Devils. Devils coming with full speed. Now, Nico Oshara drive the puck behind. They are coming to right side of Montembeau. Back in the exo. Shoot the puck. Montembeau make it save. The puck all the way back by Oshara in the corner. Montreal get out of the zone right ready. They are coming at three to sister. At three to sister. Come, come, kick out the puck to Evans. Evans looking him now. Looking, skating right now. Shooting for the net. And just up the but Now Montreal steal the puck again. Great play. Uh, by Pitley. Pitley bring the puck in the corner. Chasing right now. By Tata. Tata play with the Devils. Now the Devils try to get a puck outside the zone. Dumping a neutral zone. Finally, the puck go all the way back behind Montembeau uh, with 11 minute 40 second new plus coming from the Montreal Canadiens the puck with with Justin Barron behind the net uh, Justin wearing number 52 with the Montreal Canadiens great break out right now with the Montreal is coming now at full speed it's pit lake I believe no it's a Devarak turn around to back so shoot a puck to Biron Biron running the puck back to Devarak Devarak right now drop to Biron Biron and Devarak have a great communication together Biron bring the puck all the way to the blind to Edmondson uh, to Shuneman Shuneman to Barron Barron back again in the corner join the play right there I think it's Whiteman Whiteman right now I apologize the turn Run right up by Sharkovich. Pissed the puck to the left back to Jack Hughes. He's coming to the left side. No, it's Dawson Mercer. Mercer battle for the puck with Joel Armia behind the net. Armia control the puck behind the net. Turned on the direction. Battle for and behind the net. Don't know what to do with the puck. Finally, he gave the puck to Hoffman. The puck go back to Armia. Armia to the neutral zone. Don't be the puck behind the goaltender. Montrose grab a new players coming on the ice uh, with a less of 11. 11 minutes to play in the first period. It's still 0 0. Both teams have a couple of opportunities to get up. A great fast game so far. Not many whistles. We like the, the way the both teams execute their play uh, at that level at that moment. Now the pass already intercepted by the Montreal Canadiens. They are attacking right now over the head. All the way back. Break a window. This is coming. Should have punt. Make save by Nicoda. Wow, what a save. And Josh Anderson have a little bit of time to control the puck, but. Great pass over the head, love the puck. And that's happening at that moment. You're going to be the first uh, timeout of the game. That's what happened uh, with uh, at the New Jersey Devils. It's still 0 0. And uh, try to get the puck, uh, everything, the update right there. And we're going to take a time to welcome everybody. Uh, Jake asked, uh, why is not Ireland tonight? Because it's a back to back game, Jake, uh, tonight. So that's what happened. Uh, I like Hoffman, but he's not. For sure, more of the finish arc, a playmaker. It might do well with a responsible center like Evans. Uh, Allen played last night. Zeph, here we go. Anderson came close. I agree with you. Michael Cousy said one zero to leave. Hell, about Knox 5 1 uh, 4. Penguin 10. Uh, Salah Allen faced too many shots last game. He need a rest, possibly a beer after the game. I agree with you about that. Welcome back, everybody. And the house tonight at 10 2. 10 2. Are you killing me? No. Welcome back, Mr. Gator, Rock Team T in the house. Uh, I watched the game right now. It feel like they play exactly like they did yesterday. Bad execution, no pass. I just see the pass right now. Missed the players all the way. Uh, but hopefully they can come back, Mr. Well, Mr. Gator. So welcome back. Hey, QYT in the house. 
Euh, ensemble, AQ, après Charlotte. Euh, bonjour à Kenny Show, Bonjour, Mr. Harry Seychelles. Welcome back, Mr. Harry. Look like a Canadian football score, François. Uh, Danny, uh, Red Flores 3 right now. Wow, wow. They've been a the nice come back and match of the Penguin. Steve G, welcome aboard. Don't forget to click on the likes. We appreciate each one of you. Thanks again to join us tonight. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, the keyboard was at the wrong place. Here we go. Face off on the left side of Nicoda. David Long Special. Break away, David's coming. He's gonna put big save with Serge Emmanuel Montembo. Big save on Jasper Bratt on breakaway Montembo. Big mix save with a pad and no rebound. Wow, what a save by Samuel Montembo. Wow. What a save by Manuel Montembo. The puck go right there by the left side over there. Great save. Uh, again, like I mentioned to you about that one. And they go back all the way back in the corner. Pitley contro the puck right now. Pete the puck to the left side. Intercept by the Devils. Battle with Jake Evans. Uh, the puck go to the left side. He's going to get out all the way back on the left side by Nico Urshara. A shot, turn around. Check it back in the twelve zone. Battle off with Jake Evans. Turn around, Panama Toy Canadian. Mike Hoffman's coming at the blue line. Mike Hoffman looking. Mike Hoffman change the direction. Keep the puck for himself. Mike Hoffman keep the puck blue line. Nobody is there. We're going to reset at that moment. Uh, and that's what we are. Elisa Dorian or Dorian Dorian. Yeah, that's Dorian. That is Dorian. I like it. I like it. Elisa, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, I appreciate each one of you. Don't forget, please, to click on the like. Now Jack Hughes coming. Jack Hughes contro the puck. It's Romanov. Great check by Romanov uh, in front of Jack Hughes. He, uh, he tried to cut in the middle uh, on the right side. Romanov, Romanov, apply some pressure and some fiscality right now. Montreal controls the puck. Montreal keep the puck, draw the puck right there and turn around by the Devils. Finally, the puck on the left side by the Montreal Canadiens. No icing. The puck all the way back behind the uh, Doug Hamilton. Go did the deep zone by the Devils. Get the puck outside zone. Tip in front of neutral zone intercept by Montreal Canadiens. David Savard try to get a puck to Dauphin. No chance. And now Hamilton recovery puck to go DD behind the net and the pack to Seller Denler. And the goal turn around and Montreal at the blue line. But again, the battle. Montreal lose the puck. Finally, the Devils lap the puck all the way back. It's like a ping pong, uh, like a, uh, a pool. The puck go all the way at the left side of the Montreal. We have icing, but great play. The Romanoff again, a Jack Hughes. Physical right there. I love the way he played. Romanov, guys, I'll be honest with you. The Alexander Romanov sent Ben Chariot left. He played his best hockey in NHL. Played over 27 minutes yesterday. Is getting better and better and better. The Romanov we're looking for is getting more mature, more experience. Is getting they will shoot a puck. Uh, Hamilton rebound by uh, Montebu make a say rebound, but uh, recovery by Devarek lose the puck went out by Armia. <coughs> Excuse me, Armia. The puck go behind the net. They're chasing right now. Did the uh, Baron bring the puck to Edmondson? Battle right now with Devarek. They're looking for the puck recovery. Pass the puck to Baron. Baron lose the puck to Armia. And finally, the Panthers score tied the game. It's Brando Montour one one turn. To and and the Florida servants should drop the puck behind the outside the blue line. We're going to have to recall it that way over there. Good Devils go, Ryan. Uh, the like a body check, Danny. 1 1 Panthers. Thank you, Kevin T. Two young team as a Devils. Simon, ready to go with you. Uh, Manfranca Arabe. Welcome back. Uh, thanks about everybody joining us. Don't forget, please to click on the like. That'd be awesome. If you don't mind to do that. Uh, I'm sorry about that. We have a TV timeout. Sports fans in the house.
Welcome back, Mr. Robert. Thanks for joining us tonight. Coach, your team is doing good, saying the new coach, GM. I agree with you about that, Kevin. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know a little bit what's happening, but uh, the positivity, the culture they bring, the, the communication, the way to talk, the way they believe, uh, and all that, it's about here. It's right here. And when you believe and you know and you trust each other and they have a good time all together, the effort, the team, that's happening. But at that moment, it's what they are. Star, welcome back in the house. Uh, welcome, Mr. Star. Thank you, Adam. Zep, let the Baron will play a bit shy right now. Let's see how the game progresses. Zep, yeah, not a problem with that. Uh, Jennifer B. Green. Welcome back, Jennifer. Maybe not. I apologize. I apologize to Jennifer. Jennifer, I believe that's the first time in the house. So welcome, Jennifer, with the Hockey Nation live show. We have a face so right now in the neutral zone. And the Devils win the puck. And they run the puck all the way back behind him. Montebo try to get a puck and leave the puck all the way. The puck go behind the net. We have a whistle. Right away, the puck go in the net. Uh, I'm going to restart. Uh, Salah. We have uh, Elbu D. Jello in the house. Uh, welcome aboard, Mr. Elbo. Elbu. Uh, I apologize. I screwed a bit your name. But um, uh, is that team, uh, Adam, who is your favorite player in NHL? I, I don't have a specific player as me. I like the hockey, so I'll have a difficult time with people asking me that because uh, uh, we see all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, at the next whistle, we're going to celebrate the Super Chat. Tell me, M. With five dollars, uh, we're going to celebrate after the whistle. Now the devil's coming out in neutral zone, dumping the puck behind the Montembo, chasing around real enough. Uh, the first one to get there, uh, go to the devils, uh, gain the puck to the board. Anderson trying to intercept right now, part of the devils. And uh, Ryan Gray's uh, get a puck, go back to Romanoff. Romanoff to Savar, run the puck all the way, all the way in neutral zone, intercept right now by Silverson, and bring the puck deep zone, go back to the D to D by Gray's. Uh, now the puck go to the neutral zone, they turn around, part of the devils, they go to reset, they are coming, they regroup, and they pass the puck. Here we go. Tatar. Tatar's coming. Look about. Shoot the puck. Montebo make a save. The puck all the way back to the blue line. It's a seven out by a uh, seven. So bring, bring the puck to the left side. D to D right there. Bring the puck right now by the devil. So it's Brad. I believe. Try to get a puck on the back ends now. He's looking for the net. Just to make a save. Rebound. Oh, he was so right now. The Montreal find a way to get a puck outside. Good retrieval puck for the Montreal Canadian. And now Caven Ball with the puck. Uh, with the puck, bring the puck to neutral zone. It takes up by Justin Brett. And the puck go all the way on the territory for the Montreal Canadian. Joel Emerson find a way to get a puck. Emerson waiting for the new players coming with him. Bring the puck to deep zone by the Montreal Canadian. It takes up now. And they have to reset by Emerson. Use the ball to Hoffman. No chance for him with Jake Evans. The puck go DD7 to a ball. Ball change the direction. Bring the puck to the board. To Sharakovic. Sharakovic drop the puck behind to Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes coming for him. Uh, Emerson's coming. Cut in front is it. But they will make it. Save again against Jack Hughes. Montembo said it right now. The puck go back to Dawson Mercer. Try to get a puck in front of Darwin, uh, Doug Edmonton. It's accepted by Hughes. Hughes change the direction right now in front of Armia. Hughes change the goal again. Shoot a puck, but they will make it save again. The Montembo. Montembo, Montembo, Montembo. But we have a super chat. Super chat. Tommy M. $5. Reverse Tommy! Him! Five dollars! Super chat! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Mr. D Tommy! But Montembo! What a save again, Montembo! Nine shots versus three for the Devils! Uh, Jack Hughes is unbelievable! Is wow! The speed of you is amazing. Now the puck go behind the goaltender of the Devils. A recovery by the defenseman. Drive the puck to the left side. Armia throws some application. Rekhal Sherikovic drive the puck behind the dog. Hamilton's coming. Now Hamilton's coming. Fire! Black shot by the Montreal Canadian. David Saval turn around by the Montreal. coming to the right side. Armia dumping the puck. Chasing the puck in front of the... Uh, the defenseman is devil, win the battle right now, turn around, drive the puck to Hamilton, battle with Armia, do frame recovery, puck, shoot the puck, no chance, then now the devils try to get a puck outside, Montreal, plug some pressure, do frame win the battle for the puck, drive 
the pipe behind Ramanaf's coming, looking for the net. Say by the in front of Ramanaf. That's the back of recovery by the Montreal Canadiens. Rim the puck out with the blue line. And now uh, Whitman bring the puck back to Dauphin. Dauphin control the puck. Drive the puck again at the left side. And now battle for the Montreal Canadiens in the corner. Turn around by uh, Dauphin. Bring the back to Jill uh, Illinois. On the back door to Perro. Whiteman applies some pressure right there. Bring the puck behind the net. Now the battle with Perro in the corner right there. And we have the four line for the Montreal. Perro find a way to get a turn around. Perro now in the house behind the goaltender. Perro in try to get a puck in front of the net to Erlenen. Perro back to Dauphin. Finally, the puck outside. For example, the Devils, they are coming now, dumping the puck in front of Ramanaf. Chase him now. Ramanaf try the back of the puck. And the Devils move some pressure right there. Look in the back door. Find the Devils. Shoot the puck. Miss the net right there. Battle with Whiteman. Whiteman got cut by Bastion. Finally, the Montreal is going to get out of the zone. And the back ends, they go to the blue line. And the left, left uh, red line, finally, the puck. All the way back in the zone recovered by Severson. Uh, new plus coming from the Montreal Canadiens. Perro is coming to the bench. Now the, the Devils coming now. Shoot the puck. Never turn around for the Montreal Canadiens. Zuski dropped the puck by Caulfield. Caulfield is coming to the left side. Coming on the back end. Caulfield is the puck around the net. and missed the net completely. Recovered by the Devils. Finally put some pressure by Henderson. for check right now. Caulfield try to get a puck to Zuski. No chance. The puck go back to Severson. Behind the goal line. He's going to reset uh, with a breakout. The Devils coming to the red line. Now don't put the puck behind uh, Montembeau. Intercept the puck. Looking around. Pass the puck to right side, back to DDD. It's that Baron to Edmondson. Long stretch pass in the neutral zone. I will look by Caulfield. It's coming to the new and the territory offensive. Throughout the puck behind. It's accepted by the Devils. Go to the left side. And they are coming to red line. Now to the blue line. And the defensive zone. Back door on the left side over there. It's accepted by Montreal Canadian. Uh, it was... Uh, a sub hour, I believe. The puck all the way to the blue line for the Devils. Keep the puck deep zone behind the net. And enter seven up and Manson battle right now with the Devils also. We have four players that want the puck. The back Montable looking left and right. A pinch by the defenseman. The Devils no chance to keep the puck in the zone. And ta-ta! With the puck, drive the puck to Subain. Two ex Montreal Canadiens on the ice for the Devils. The puck don't ping by the... Oh my God, I don't like when he play like this. Montembeau, he's wow. Anyhow, long stretch by the Montreal Canadiens. Tip by right away there. Conclusion back to Shenman. Shenman's coming on the fence. Try the puck behind to Jake Evan. Shoot the puck. Save by the down behind the net. Uh, recovery by Hamilton. Bring the puck to the board. Pinch by the Montreal Canadiens. Keep the puck deep at the zone. They go turn around right there. Part the left side. And now it's Doug Hamilton. Use the board to get the puck outside the zone. They're going to go all the way back. But the Montreal find a way to keep the puck on the, on the neutral zone. The battle right now. Romanoff lose the battle. The Devils turn around right there. Justin Brad bring the puck to the side. On the back door. Watch out. Shoot the puck. The Devils make a big save on the back door. Samuel Montembeau. The, the best player on the ice for the Montreal Canadiens tonight. The puck goes to the left side. Montreal attacking right now. And he hit the stick of the bed, of the Panther. Of the, well, the Devils. The puck go all the way on the stand. We have two minutes 35 to go remaining on the first period. But Montembeau accomplished a lot of great things so far uh, tonight uh, at that moment. And that's what we had at two minutes 37 to go remaining on the first period. Uh, amazing play by play, Danny. I thank you so much. Appreciate a lot. Uh, uh, I agree, Zef. Uh, I like the ad defense chip. And I agree with you, Montembeau. Great save, first period. Yeah. Welcome back, Kevin. Thanks again, Devils. Too fast for Montreal. Uh, Jack Hughes played an amazing, great game for that. Weezer! Oh, I love that one. Weezer! Billy, that's the first time in the house. <laughs> it's time to be moving faster tonight. Uh, Max Zach, welcome back. Uh, Max Zach with Jennifer, I believe. Kudan, as tu des gants de dans le nom de nous autres ces derniers temps? What? Here we come out. Here we go. The sheet of Buf Alassa. Buffalo Lass. Uh, I don't know yet uh, why Montembeau is still there. <laughs> I, I want to show to you guys uh, the Montreal Canadian. Um, uh, when the Devils score, guys, the first, they are 14, 15, and 3. And when the open and score, they are 9, 22, and 2. Uh, yes, 1-1, one, one, Ninja. Welcome, Mr. Ninja. Thanks to be with us tonight. Uh, the Lord, always faithful, is in the house tonight. Lord, thanks to be with us. I appreciate a lot. Uh, and thanks again uh, to be a part of the Hockey Nation live show. Bonjour, quel plat de ville euh, personne je veux jouer là-bas. Personne veut jouer là-bas. Euh, c'est pas très. Euh, Buffalo, c'est pas très. 
c'est pas, euh, pas la plus attrayante qu'on va dire en français. Là. Uh, it's not really great. Um, well, well, look like who is in the house, uh, Mr. Nooner. Welcome back. Uh, we put the red carpet uh, in the house for Mr. Nooner. Welcome back. Uh, now, Anderson Recovery Park, Bernie Park to the blue line, all the way back to Edmondson. Edmondson uh, juggle with the puck. Uh, bound, the puck bounce over his stick. We have to reset on the defensive zone. We go D to D, and they reset right now. Pass the puck right away. Man Edmondson all the way back on the defensive zone, the territory, the goaltender. Uh, New Jersey play a puck. Anderson right now, Pajski, but no chance. But now it's Anderson Recovery Park, Bernie Park behind the net. Pajski, Pajski, Bernie Park right there. Shoot, but the motor can see him. the net, I believe, or maybe hit the the goaltender, it was Barron, I, I think so. Now Anderson, back to Edmondson, back to Justin Barry. Is it Barry or Anderson? Shoot the puck right there. Back in front of the back side right there. In front of the net, shoot the puck. Turn around right there. It was a great play. I believe it was Bar Barron. By, by the way, you can see first time he joined the play right there. Now the Devils control the puck to the red line. And control a great play by Barron right now. Con uh, cap control the puck. Go behind the net by Justin Brett. Uh, now Anderson bring the puck in the corner. Chase it by Carfield or maybe someone else. And now the Devils bring the puck right there. Barron try to get a puck in front of the net. Uh, turn around right there. Montreal get out of the zone. Try to get a puck outside. If you not leave. Subban with cap control is going to go all the way back D to D and the Devils dump in the puck right now. And Jack Hughes coming. Fire! And enter it back. Uh, now a great save by Romanov and the puck go around. The stop at the blue line. Shoot by the Devils again. Miss the net completely. We have a whistle at that moment with 1.16 to go. Um, and that's what we add. Uh, but we see a little bit flash of Justin Barron joined the play on offensive zone. And uh, that's what he is. So uh, that's kind of plus he has. And that's what he does. Elisa Dorian, welcome back. Uh, Jake M, uh, I'm back in the house. Uh, you have to grab a few beers. Hey, go, Jake. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we appreciate again, Nuna. Welcome back, Danny. And then in the house, now we have Bryce, Kevin, and Luciano. Oh, I did not see Luciano yet. Luciano Graziano, welcome back, Luciano. Now Montreal get a puck right there. We had uh, most like one minute, and now the Divis is there. The Divis coming now. The Divis in front of the net of the Saval. Great play by Saval. Again, Jack Hughes used the ball to get a puck outside the zone. Finally, they did with a 55 seconds uh, to go. Uh, uh, Subban try to get a puck to the left side. Intercept and out by the Devils. Leap in the zone. Kevin Ball right now used the board to get a puck outside the zone. Cap control all the way back to Montembeau. Montembeau played the puck. Montembeau, what the heck? To you, shoot the puck. Here we go. That's it. Uh, no, 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 no. No talk. No, no words for Mr. Montem uh, Mr. Montembo. Unbelievable. I call this like a minor goalies. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Great pass from Montembo to Jack Hughes. How? Yep. It is what it is. Uh, at the end of the first period like that, where the Montreal are on the road, a back-to-back -back game, you cannot give those goals like that at the end of the prayer like that. Unbelievable. He just got a ticket to go to Laval tomorrow morning. After he make a cup, a great save. That's, that's not good. Anyhow. It is what you think. Uh, and the Devils take the lead on the zone. Montreal's coming on the zone. Uh, Halfman shoot a puck. Say pie does right there. Shoot a puck at Halfman. Miss the net completely. A puck outside the zone. They're going to recover all the way on defensive zone. Whiteman right there. And they control the puck all the way. And 13 seconds to go remaining on the first period. That's what we had at that moment. And the puck goes to the left side. Panama Montreal Canadiens going to be five seconds to go. And it's going to be the end of the first period. With one second to go. Whoop, 1.6 seconds to go. The shot are 13 to 7. Uh, advantage the Devils at that moment. But again, uh, uh, mistake by the goaltender number 35 for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, GD Sports, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, Rand Basker, welcome back also. 
both of you. Thanks for joining us tonight. Just check uh, the judge just score. Chef Lee, thank you so much for all the update at the bat, Mr. Dean, but my God, it make him look bad. Yep, I agree with you. <laughs> Here we go. The end of the first prayer is complete at the Prudential Center Rink in New Jersey. The Devils take the lead at 19-16 seconds. A great pass of Samuel Montembo to the stick of Jack Hughes. And Jack Hughes read the puck over the right shoulder of Montembo. Uh, take the lead for the Devils. Uh, 13 shots for the Devils, 8 for the Camelotra Canadian. Both teams have zero penalties during the first period. That's what we had after 20 minutes at the New Jersey. Let's go around the league. What's going on? The Rangers won an OT against the Sabres 5 to 4. The Penguin Pittsburgh win tonight, ladies and gentlemen, 11 to 2. 11 to 2. The Flowers and the Predator Nashville, 4 Four after f 40 minutes. The Wild take the lead at 1-0 over the Colorado. Kaprizov score under the goal for them. The Jet take the lead 1-0 after 20 minutes. Uh, it's time is uh, Mark Sheffley. And then the Devils, of course, 1-1 at the uh, Toronto and the Panthers, 1-16 to go. The Lightning one afternoon, 4-1. to This is the eighth game we have this on the schedule today in NHL. So thanks for joining us. will be the time to talk a little bit. Uh, between everybody, uh, we appreciate Rand Primo. is not ready for NHL. Uh, Zev Lacab said uh, about that. Uh, Monte is not ready for NHL. Send me to NHL. He called up Primo. Um, I, I think both goaltenders are not ready, to be honest with you. Uh, Alain Vianco use is very fast. Uh, we're going to get Mr. Uh, Andrew Lepage. He's coming for his... Uh, the first period intermission, going to bring him the next couple of minutes. No, not Monty is far superior. That's why it's in train to uh, correct mon Simon. Oui. Uh, malheureusement, après. Uh, only send like and 95 chat. Please don't forget to click on the like. That'd be awesome. That's the only way it can let us to grow uh, properly and the right way. I'm still devastated for the leave last last night. Michael, like uh, Lucy in the house. And now do you like uh, you battle really about that one over there? We're going to bring uh, Mr. Um, I don't know where is Mr. about that one over there, but let's see, bring him, if I can find him right away. Here we go. Andrew Lepage, welcome and back in the house tonight. Hey, how's it going, coach? How's everybody doing? Pretty good. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, tell us a bit what you think about the first period of 20 minutes for the Montreal Canadian there. Again, again, it's uh, we're being outplayed, but not as bad as last night's first period, although... It was just such a shame that Montembeau misplayed that puck there because uh, he was playing well, you know, and just uh, bad, bad judgment there. Uh, Baron looked a little shaky in the beginning, but you can see him coming out of it. He's starting to get a little more comfortable. You can see that. Byron, to me, and uh, Armia are having a strong outing there. They're, they're showing the strongest signs. Anderson is finally looking a little better tonight. So, uh, and our, like I say, uh, Romanov, by far. I mean, wow. The way he's playing defensively, it's just unbelievable. To me, he's our, he's our best guy out there right now. Yep. And on the flip side, I believe the best player for them is, like, by far, Jack Hughes. Uh, oh, definitely. Jack Hughes, when he get a puck. Uh, we thought Jesper Bratt is the best player, like, uh, with a puck, with speed. But Hughes is unbelievable. Um, yeah. Honestly, it reminds me a lot of Brandon Point. Yes. A lot you know, of the similarities. Speed, the there. sick angling, controlling, turn around, check. Where, you know, he's unbelievable about that one. We have a Very question powerful. before we move a little bit more uh, from yeah. Ren. Coach, uh, he said to you also, uh, what do you think about the move and the roster, Montembo, Laval, and Primo call up? Uh, you know what? Actually, I like Montembo up and Primo stay down. Because honestly, I don't think Primo is ready for the NHL. I, I honestly don't think he'll he'll cut it. First of all, that's team. right. You said that. Secondly, if you do that way, Montembeau have to be on the waiver also. Right. Maybe possibly you can lose him. I don't say that's right or not. He, but he uh, played, I would but, not do that move with 18 games remaining. We are eliminate. That's not change yeah. anything. Uh, hopefully he learned from that. But again, it's it's not the first time he does it. That's right. That's, that's right. the problem I mean, right there. Don't. That's what. I'm a little bit up, uh, upset about that. You can make mistake, 
but I never repeat the same mistake. And this that's, is not the first time. The a couple of games ago, he dropped the puck behind the net, gave the puck right away to open the team. And this is a yeah. giveaway puck. It's right there. Yeah, why to put the puck right away there? Um, exactly. Right in between the middle of them. And you could definitely tell he couldn't decide which way to go. That was his problem. Go in the corner. That's simple right exactly. there. Exactly. That's simple. That is, it's it's simple. one-on-one hockey. Yeah. A double A. Yeah. Right? Oh, I agree. I agree. I, I don't understand his thinking. Uh, Joseph said that Mike Wood looked really good for his first game of the uh, of the year. Uh, Mike Wood came back for the hip uh, surgery for many months. Uh, I believe for me, he, he looked, you know, he's tall, um, yeah. he's big, and I think overall he did a good game uh, so far. Me too. I agree with Joseph so about that one over there. Yeah. John Gregor, welcome back in the house. John Gregor said hi to Andrew. Uh, the Red Wing have been turned into the chicken wings today at 11 2. Oh, my word. Is that what happened? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> but, again, they know they're not in the playoffs, uh, you know, so stuff is going to happen. There's, you know, their their back end still needs some work, and they're young, so it's going to happen. Yeah, I agree with you about that one over there. Uh, Alan said Montebo get an assist on that one. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, big the, time. Okay, now the Sunday class. Itself. <laughs> uh, Michael is still upset about the lose yesterday for the Toronto <laughs> against the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Steve G, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Simon, I don't understand you in writing English. Uh, hey, Danny. Uh, Simon, I don't just, just entre les deux, I guess, moi de merci. Simon, write in English. Uh, Zeph, uh, Danny, the only job the Leaf can do in the playoffs is the month. Now they talk about this. Use was as a. I didn't think I could say use have a serious talent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Denis Rodrigue said Jack Hughes is the best. Oh, he's he's definitely a serious talent. He's one of the, he's going to be one of the elite. There's no doubt about it. Uh, he, he's, he's definitely going to be a star, that's for sure. I think for me, Primo, because Francois said the people want Primo, like, uh, wow. But I would say to you, Primo need to be level out for at least like 75 start. And if you turn out, I, I think he does not need to come back. Uh, no. He need to learn right Big there, uh, grow his game, get his confidence, every time like that, uh, about that one over there. Um, use one other point next year. I would say, I don't know, but I would say I wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't shock me. Wouldn't shock me. If it's not next year, it could be the following. Uh, during my pre-game show, uh, Andrew, I was talking about the New, uh, the new Jersey Devils. One of the top five, um, I said eight, but I'm pretty sure it's top five now. Uh, with all the prospect they have, oh, you know I mean, like you be. think about this, Nico Shard, like he, you think he's in the league for many years, uh, he's still like 22, 23 years old. They have a lot exactly. of players on below uh, 23 years old. There, whatsoever they have, some return like Subban, Hamilton, uh, Ryan Reeves, and you know uh, Bernier Black. But they have like Urshire, they have like Jason Brett, they have Zaka, uh, they have Sharikovich, they have uh, Jack Hughes, uh, they have Dawson Mercer, they have Alexander. Uh, also They're going to be good. Utica. Utica is full of the players right now and, uh, and the American Hockey League. So that team have a ton Back. of prospects coming very soon. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about Ty Smith. Uh, unfortunately, he have a really difficult uh, sophomore. But Ty Smith have an amazing, great uh, year la last year. I know fine. they want to trade uh, Drew um, Zeverson, but he's another good power, uh, good defenseman over there uh, for yeah. sure about that one over there. Uh, I love you. Uh, got, um, here we go. Uh, what did you think about Dali? Uh, um, uh, what about the flame and the orders yesterday? Oh, that's just unbelievable. That was crazy. I watched it until the third. I couldn't stay up any later. And uh, it was pretty just wide open hockey. I mean, my word. <laughs> it was, and to find out that the, it, they got nine out of it, that just blew my mind. I thought it was going to stay closer. So that was a good step, though, a good uh, showing for Calgary to say, yeah. The it was almost like a B game. League game. Yeah, oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Defense not didn't exist. Montembeau got problem with his passing game. He need to work on that for sure, but he's developing his goalie game immensely since just start the season. Uh, but his base is okay. What do you think about Montembeau uh, overall? Uh, you know, like I say, he's definitely better than uh, Primo. No, no doubt. You see, he, he plays a way better game. He's got a little more confidence, but I don't like he goes down 
and leaves the upper net. Just so even on that goal there, he was down long before, and if he had stayed up, he might have had a shot at stopping that. He wants to go down too much. For me, the, I was I would I would I, I would say the word consistency. Yes, yes, uh, very he much. can give you look what he did. Yeah, he Amazing, looked great in the big Nineteen minutes, and then he gave a bad goal like that. Yeah, and he got he yeah. he go that way. You remember how many times he got beat on the top shell uh, right there, where you, you have no no reason to give because he go down one time. Uh, and then he will show up a game is amazing. The next game he will get four goals. He get removed at the first period. That's for me is yeah. con consistency. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, right. Definitely. And it's to be aware. You have no reason right now to drop the puck. It, it just as a I've been there. Like as a forward, you see a goaltender like that, you piss off on the bench. We just walk 19 minutes, 34 seconds as a group, a, a team right now, all together. Yeah. And then you give yeah. a goal like that. And that piss off you. your teammate at the end of the oh, period, yeah. and you're on the road. You play a game back to back. It's you complicate everything right now, and that's why the yeah. player are pissed off to the bench, right? And oh, for uh, sure. I understand for it's sure. part of sport. I understand you may will make mistake, right? But it's not like it's not a mistake. You have no talent or skill. It's just a mistake no, of it. mindset. That's, that's the right. part right there. Right. It's the awareness. That's it. It's yeah. not like you 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 don't know or maybe I go down. It's just like you gave the puck. It, it, you, exactly. it, the things you can. It's like you said to the defenseman. Hey, go by the way, go and find the net when you go and break yeah. out. You cannot do that. You, you have to be sure you cover and find the net. You don't give. A, 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 you know what I mean? Like oh, you the last defenseman. Don't give anything because you have nobody behind you. After that, those little one on one hockey cannot be. Yeah or get those at that level in the initial. That's exactly. why I call him inconsistency uh, very, about that very. one over there. Uh, I and do I have a question. Do you know uh, Exeter is Canadian, Canada Avia Metal Band and the answer country? Uh, I saw some, Jake. Uh, um, how do you consider, uh, how do you compare Justin Barron to wh which one? Which player? Which player? I, I like the way uh, Barron played, so... You know, he was a little shaky in the beginning, but, uh, you know, he started to come along. So he, he looked good. He looked, he looked like he was coming along. I want to, you know, I want to see more. Uh, you have a second part of the game better. He joined a rush a little bit, right? He, uh, yeah. I'm sure he doesn't want to make mistakes. They protect him a little bit more also. On the road, it's harder to protect because you don't have the last chance on the play, on the line, exactly. right? Uh, you can yeah. see at some point he brings Saval with Emerson just in case. Uh, but uh, you can see a bit. He's going to play one time. I like what I saw. Uh, he's I going like to run too. with everybody about that one there. Uh, I think a month like ago to Chicago oh, for yeah. Lincoln and Trade would be a good one to see coach. Who would, who is that? Lincoln. And. Going where? Chicago. So month ago for Lincoln and the goaltender for the Chicago Blackhawks. I don't know much about him. Uh, I, I will not touch Lincoln and allow. Um, yeah, and you, it, it's a twenty. It's the same thing, and also uh, Montabu is younger to Lincoln. And, uh, yeah. I will not do that. Honestly, right now about that. Use uh, uh, is I I sure. Uh, well, use in Urshire a uh, brat uh, for Allen about this. Uh, um, goalies plus defense is question to the Devils. Uh, first of all, the goalies uh, we know they're missing the ball goaltender, right? Um, they don't have um, Bernier and uh, Blackwood, the two regular goaltenders right. they, they're supposed to get right now, right? The defenseman, we know Saban is the last part of the of the his contract. He's going to be out. Uh, yeah. I think they have a couple of good defensemen over there. Uh, they just like Ty Smith have to get a better year. A year. Ryan Grave is a good one over there. Look, you no, is definitely. coming. I forgot the look, you's prospect for the organization right. over there. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, Mike uh, Delano is in the chat. You talk about uh, great year for Brad Hughes. I become the player you hope he would. And Oates is Smith. Uh, Smith have a difficult year, but overall, I think it would be great about that one over there. Uh, will Carey Price be traded in off season? That's a good question. We're like I say, we we talked about this last night. It does sound like he's coming soon. From what I'm hearing, it sounds like we will see him on the ice in the near future here. But uh, the truth being told of where where he sits, you know, injury wise, and what where he really wants to be, I just don't see it. I don't either. 
I don't either. I, I, I just think don't that. see it about that one over there. Uh, Michael talked about Kevin Ball. Uh, Ball, uh, Ball is number 88 for them uh, about that. Uh, Ali Bianco, I predict in three years, New Jersey would be a top five NHL team. Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely. I would say top 10. Uh, it, it's still a, a, a positive because they're missing a couple of players. Like, Tata will be out at yeah. some point. Uh, yeah. You know, but yeah, so look, uh, you know, we don't talk about McLeod, Wood over there, Bastion is another one. Zaka is a little bit older, but still. But I wouldn't be surprised uh, at least top, top 10. 10. It's all depends yeah. on the goaltender. I think Blackwood never been the Blackwood we, he, he did at the beginning of his career uh, with them, exactly. but uh, I think we'll be good about that. Uh, uh, yeah. Smith getting into a fight for Edmonton was great. Uh, uh, last night, I think he talked about, I'm not sure. Uh, Dawson Mercer is right now looking like a steal in this past draft. Uh, yeah, I think he was at number 18 or 19, uh, Michael. Yeah. So I think uh, it was, I agree. you know, I agree with you. I uh, don't have any goalie goal at uh, price. Uh, stop dreaming about dreading uh, price. Uh, the wing pants was a disaster about that. Michael, he's a, a Detroit Red, Red, Red Wings uh, <laughs> about that. Um, uh, Monday, get an A play for nickname. Uh, Jordan Taylor, welcome back. Uh, Michael Delano, uh, the new Florian. I guess a uh, coach, what you said, a team is a coach who you just lost element to. Um, it's easy. Flush it and let's move on. That's Move it. on. Forget it. You, totally. cannot, yeah. you cannot do anything about that. You don't you want to see on. the video. Uh, you, yeah, quicker. The, and hockey or in any sport, right? you have to be, uh, I call this the short memories. Right? That's it. Right? And you yeah. have to be sure everything happening tonight, it's over when you go back in the bus and the plane or in the train, whatever you're traveling. Right? You go exactly. back home, you have to flush it. You cannot leave with that part of there. A little bit like the goaltender, make a bad, like Montembeau right now. It's over. Yeah. You just got to let it go. You have to be ready let for the go. next save. Just be more responsible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is blessing is at the end of the season, uh, uh, end of the win. Do you think they will trade him? Which player? Uh, the, the, do you think they will fire the coach in Detroit? In Detroit? You know what? I, I honestly, it's hard to say. I don't think they should, personally, because I think, Detroit's a young, young team. There's going to be lots of mistakes, so give it a little more time. I just think it's too, too soon to even think of that right at the moment because they're just that team is stacked with a lot of kids. Yeah, I agree with you about that. Pierre Martin, welcome aboard. Welcome, Pierre. Luke Lafosse, he think Petri was told by management to stay home for the rest of the year. Who knows? That's a possibility. <laughs> we don't know. That's a good chance, though. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, then you, I, don't, uh, I, I think he's a good play, though. They have fun. Yeah, I understand about yeah. that one over there. Uh, Dan Asham, good evening, coach, and Andrew. Welcome aboard, Dan. Yeah. Okay. But we have to go, Mr. Uh, Andrew. Good to see you during the second period. The second period is going to start in a few seconds. So uh, I look forward to see you the next uh, 40 minutes. Sounds good. And like Thank I say, so I'm much. expecting yep. to pick it up right Thank on. you. Yeah. It was Andrew Lepage uh, for the, in the insider of the Hockey Nation live show. And uh, we're going to start the second period. Have an amazing, great second period, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget to click on the likes. Uh, and the part will be dropped right away over there. For all the people who did not communicate with you, Dixon, welcome back. We have a lot of a lot of people talking in the chat. So uh, we appreciate that. Uh, everybody about that. The puck go behind the net of the goaltender Montembeau chasing an out pie. Um, is this Saval? I'm not sure about that. The puck go all the way outside the zone. Recovery on by the Devils in front of the bench and they're going to reset right away. Montreal attacking right now on the left side of the band. Should the puck put the net? Oh, gets a positive right there. The puck stopped by David Saval. Bring the puck behind the net all the way to Armia. Bring the puck all the way back and, and finally the Devils going to get out of the zone. They are coming but Saval intercepts the puck. Use the board to pass the puck back to uh, B, uh, two more trois Canadian to the blue line is Armia. Cut the puck right now to uh, Biron. Biron threw in the puck right there. Keep the puck, control the puck. He lose the puck at the blue line, change the direction. Unfortunately, uh, he go all the way back on uh, Baron and the defensive zone. Justin Baron now go DDD back right there to uh, Saval. Saval. 
contro le puck, et skating with the puck, looking right there, David Savard used the board, long stretch pass right now, number 20, intercept right now, by the Devils at the blue line, and recovery by Anderson, Anderson back to Barron, Barron get put pressure now, use the board right there, pass again to Zuzki, Zuzki on the left side right there, all the way back to Anderson, Anderson's coming now, Anderson shoot the puck, uh, blocked by the defenseman, recovery by Anderson, Montreux, can in the corner, pinch right now by Justin Barron, the puck go all the way back to the Devils, they are coming, Jack and Hughes coming to the left side, Hughes in the back door, shoot the puck, over the shoulder of the Mountain Bow and Justin Bar uh, Barron right there. Now Mount right now. Show back again. Nelson Madison, Mountain Bow make another save. Dawson, uh, the Devils continue attacking right now. Bring the puck to the blue line. Turn around right there by Sharikovic. Finally, Montreal get out. The zones go back all the way back. Emerson, drive the puck to Nick Zuski. Zuski's going to run right there. Drive the puck in front of the net. Uh, intercept by uh, Sharikovic. And the puck go to Hughes. Pass the puck to the side. Marson, Mercer with Hughes. Hughes coming now in front of the white man. Change the puck in the back side. No uh, back door. No chance. The puck turn around by uh, by uh, Shenemann, oh no, it's Hoffman, Hoffman's coming now, Hoffman's coming left side, fire! And missed the net completely, and you have a whistle at that moment, that's what we're going to get, at, and that's what we add. Uh. But you can see Justin Barron, a pinch, he got cut for the 2-1, and something you need to learn um, when you decide to go there. Uh, at that moment, that's what we had, and we appreciate each one of you. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like, that'd be awesome uh, about that. Uh. There we go. Face off the left side of Kevin, uh, the, the Nico Das. The puck go left side by the, by the wood. Recovery by now by Hoffman. Turn around right there. We'll go back to Jake Evan. Even control the puck. And keep it back. Pack. And there's a Hammond shoot the puck. Uh, Miss the net to Pitlick. Pitlick bring the puck to the left side. Go back all the way back to the blue line. And Panama Trois control the puck. Deep zone by Pitlick all the way back. Intercept by the Devil. Devils get out of the zone. They are coming to the neutral zone. Wood with the puck right there. Turn around right there. No icing to the blue line. The puck drop at the blue line. By the Devils go D to D. Then the motor recover the puck full speed. Now by Jake Evans. Evans flying right now to the blue line. Kick out the puck back to Shenaman. Fire! Saved by the defenseman. He missed the net. The puck turned around behind the net. Of the Devils going to go left the way right there and control the puck even bar. They control to the blue line, to the red lines. Coming out. Dumping the puck to opposing side. Recovery for the Montreal Canadian. David Saval behind the net. Use the board. Long stretch pass to Montreal. Uh, to um, Ilonen. Ilonen to Dauphin. Dauphin back to Ilonen. Jason the puck right now. Hit by Kev Ryan Grace. Intercept on the Montreal Canadian. Coming off. Can you keep the puck in the zone? You have to reset all the way back on the defensive zone. Go. Did it. Saval. Saval pass the puck. Left the way right there. Dumping the Montreal Canadian. Chasing behind the net. And it's going to be right now. Perro. Perro joined the party right there. The Devils can get a puck outside the zone, battle over the fourth check for the Montreal Canadiens, the puck go all the way back eh, at the blue line, it's a seven now, by the Montreal, and we can see the Devils battle right now for the puck, if you know they get out of the zone, they are coming out to their side, they are now in the zone, shoot the puck, and Montreal make a swing, no rebound, they have a whistle, on the right there, Saval push with the Devils, so that's what we're at at that moment, eh. And uh, we have a couple of players, and that's it. We're going to have a whistle on the right side of Samuel Montembeau. McLeod is on the party at that moment. That's where we at. Uh, uh, yo, yo, est-ce qu'on pourrait voir le crayon coach? Non. Uh, malheureusement, ce n'est pas faisable et acceptable uh, par le, le YouTube channel. Uh, on, on serait complètement, se ferait pas arrêter, là, mais on serait débloqué et on perdrait complètement uh, l'utilisation du, du channel uh, Yo, yo. C'est juste une loi. Uh, à propos du uh, hockey, uh, à propos du hockey, uh, à propos de la ligne nationale. Pas de problème, mon yo-yo. Face-off on the right side of Samuel uh, Montembeau. At that moment, Nico O'Shaugh will just get removed on the face-off. Tata is right now. Lose the puck right now. Recovering from Montreal Canadiens. Go D to D. It's Byron to Edmondson. Long stretch pass in the neutral zone. Intercept right now by the Devils. Finally, battle right now. The puck go on the... On the defense zone, Amir recovery puck. Amir's coming. Amir control the puck around the net. Keep the puck for himself. Change the direction. Turn around again. Great play by Amir. Amir control the puck. Looking right now. Amir go all the way to the blind. Shoot the puck in the corner. Intercept right now. Panama 12. Keep the puck deep zone. Now it's a Manson. Join the puck by now. To the again. For the net. Tip. And the Devils find a way to get out of the zone. Baron intercept the puck. No chance. Now the puck go all the way on the defense zone by Emerson. And rim the puck around the board. Intercept right now by Tata. With no chance to keep the puck. The puck go all the way back on the defensive zone of the Devils he's going to reset uh, that our pass get the puck now kick out the puck to Brad Brad's coming now Brad waiting for the new player Brad to the corner Brad try to get a puck in the behind battle right now with uh, Montreal Canadiens Savard the puck go behind the net Christian the first one to recover in front of the table uh, uh, that our long stretch pass right now 
puck, intercept went up by Kevin Ball, and for the Carfield, Carfield turned around, lose the puck, and uh, recovery went up by Zuski. Zuski controlled the puck, went up. It's Anderson, I apologize. Anderson to Ash Mike, ran the puck behind the net to Zuski. Zuski ran the puck to the side, all the way back, and Carfield tried to get a puck, and battle in the corner, and we have Carfield, Zuski went up, and uh, Anderson with Doug Hamilton, and now the puck go outside the zone, and the Florida Panthers just take the lead 2-1 over the Toronto Maple Leaf. Lamborghini just go to go. Lomberg uh, take the lead for the, for the Panthers to win again the lead. Now the Montreal Canada zone all the way back. Uh, battle right now in the neutral zone. Zuski's coming. Zuski fire! Black shot by the defenseman. Zuski try to get a puck hit and they come behind the net. Hamilton battle with Alec Caulfield. Recover the puck and the Davis get out of the zone. Now it's coming to the neutral zone. Jack Hughes winning now. Jack Hughes pass the puck to the backside with it to Mouser. Mouser's coming in front of Mouser. Turn around. Shoot the puck. Montabu lose the hedge. Recovery by Montreal Canadiens. Oof, he was minus one, but uh, oh, don't tell anybody. Now Montreal don't pin the puck all the way back. You know, chase him right now. I uh, pit lick, but now the first one to get there is the defensive of Devils. Get out of the zone. And Jack Hughes coming now in front of Whiteman. Now he used to lose the puck. Great stick by Whiteman. Shunneman recovered the puck. Going to reset. And they have new players coming for the Devils. Bastion is on the right. Shunneman bring the puck to that side. Break out now. Pass the puck to, to uh, Evans. Evans back to Whiteman. Whiteman to Shunneman. Now it's coming to the zone. Don't pin the puck right there. Behind the goaltender, it's just a party. Ryan Graves. Uh, Graves right now with the puck, looking for the hit the puck. All right, uh, sound uh, the neutral zone. The battle, Matron intercepted the puck. Mike Hoffman turn around. But he's coming to the ash mark. Bring the puck behind the net and try to Jake Evans. Uh, no chance, but Evans try to get a puck in front of Pit Lick. The Devils get out of the zone. They are coming right there. Bring the puck. Great save right now. Whiteman try to get a puck. Battle behind the net. The Devils and Whiteman. And the puck right now is between two players. The Devils recover the puck in the corner. Drawing the puck to the blue line. Fire! Graves and Montembeau make a save. Recovery went out by the Montreal Canadian. I'm not sure it's Dauphin. Dauphin lose the battle with the puck. The puck try to get us out, and the Montreal finally lobbed the puck all the way on the defensive zone. And yeah, no ice saying the puck will be all the way beat behind the net of Zeverson. Go deep reverse. Dauphin almost intercepted. Now McLeod shut the pressure of Perro. McLeod used the board, intercepted by Dauphin. Finally, Grand Grace get a puck and doing the load of the puck. All the way back in the neutral zone. Pilot the Devils, uh, they struggle a bit on the defensive zone. And finally, they get out of the zone. McLeod went out to red line. McLeod kicked out the puck to the blue line. Chasing went out in the corner by Emerson. And McLeod, great play by McLeod right now. Uh, Byron intercepted the puck. A great play by Justin Byron. Pass the puck to Montreal and then get out of the zone. They are coming all the way back and try to get a puck in the other side. Intercepted went out by the Devils. Great play right there. And they go to reset the Devils. Pass the puck. Intercepted went out by Perro. All the way back to the left side right now. The back to the corner. To look at behind the net, shooting in front of the net, no chance, the puck turned around, the Devils are coming, and one versus one, everybody's coming right now, and the check by the Devils, lose the puck right there, back to the back, kick out, recovery by Subban, Subban throw the puck, Devils coming down, look at back, intercept by Laurent Dauphin, oh, he was close, now Dauphin recovery by the blue line, keep the puck right there, Dauphin, now somehow we have outside of the blue line, Dauphin should pass that puck, like I said, pass that puck, and that's what we had at that moment, with nine shots for the Montreal, is 16, I believe, for the Devils. We have a TV timeout. No lot of whistle at that game, to be honest with you. And hopefully everything is going on in the chat. I apologize, I cannot follow everything that's going on in the chat. Uh, yes, Zef. Uh, yes, another um, discover from Mac Bergevin, by the way, Zef. <laughs> I'm actually going to the game tomorrow, Jacob. Uh, awesome. Which game are you going tomorrow, Jacob? Uh, Michelle is still there. Uh, Taylor App, welcome back. Uh, 2-1 Gator, um, 2-1 for the Panthers Gators, uh, not too bad game so far, we have a TV timeout by the way everybody. <laughs> Jacob, agent, subscriber to How Can You Shoot Like Show? You subscriber! Reverse! G 
Jacob. Welcome in the Hawking Insurance family. Thanks for your subscribe. Thank you so much. We wish you a good game tomorrow. The Blues versus the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, Sylvain will let's all welcome back. Uh, and uh, Fernanda Pierre back in the house. Uh, I agree with you about that. Really, really like Ag a lot. Uh, Keller, you're going to be surprised with Robert Ag. Uh, this is going to be, uh, I believe they're going to keep him for a little bit longer uh, for him. A uh, great asset, I believe. It was a mistake for the Bull Food to trade him, honestly. Now, the puck coming up by the Devils right now behind the net. Uh, Savard try to get a puck. Tatar bring the puck around all the way back to the right side. Intercept right now by the Devils. Uh, Nico, Nico O'Shire now. O'Shire control the puck. O'Shire drop the puck. Now, keep the puck for himself. Now, losing right now. And the back door! Should the puck been Tambu make a save? The Montreal almost did that. The puck all the way. Anderson's coming. Montreal, three versus one. Anderson right now. Anderson in the back door. To Zuski, another bad play by Josh Anderson. That's the problem with Josh Anderson. But we're not going to talk about this one now. Now the puck with the Jesse Brad. Now Brad's coming now on the left side. Brad, look around. Turn around right there. Keep the puck for control. Back on the back door. All the way back right now. Uh, by uh, Zeller Eiler. We have a call right there. I don't know why. Too many men on the ice. I believe he's in Montreal on power play. Too many men, right? Too many men. Power play. <laughs> Montreal Canadian on power play, the first of the night. Let's do it. Come on, you boys. That Toronto just tied the game. John Tavares scored a goal on power play. And that's what we had at that moment. Uh, now we have Dauphin on power play, ladies and gentlemen. A Dauphin on power play. Is it? Yeah, John Tavares tied the game 2-2 uh, two -two at the Panthers, Toronto. The pack winning went out by the Devils. Uh, don't pick the pack all the way at the blue line. Enter seven up on the Montreal Canadiens. They're going to reset right there. Turn around right there. Too many men for the Devils. The pack of the Hoffman. They kick out the pack to Armia. Armia controlled by Ash Mike. Bring the pack right there. Armia with Hoffman. The pack goes to Armia. And finally, intercept by the Devils. Going to lobbying the pack all the way back behind the goaltender. Uh, Montreal on the power play, by the way, are uh, 30 in the league. And uh, New Jersey are 12 on the... Uh, on the PK. The puck go behind the net, the goaltender, recovery went up by the Devils, don't pin the puck, intercept off men, not keep the puck. The puck go all the way back behind the goaltender. Shoneman is going to recover the puck. Montembo play the puck right there. Jesus, Montembo. The puck go all the way back to Pitley. Pitley to Hoffman. Hoffman's coming now. Hoffman kick the puck for himself. Kick out the puck, intercept now. And Hoffman try to get generation, bring the puck, and the Devils win the puck. And uh, that's what we add at that moment. Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes, Mountain Point, I'll the pocket. Montreal, in the first 60 seconds, did absolutely nothing. When I said nothing, it's nothing. And that's the reason why they are number 30 on power play. One area where Martin St. Louis did not push. Now you have a lot of pushing right now and the Toronto and the as the Panthers, the puck go all the way back to Carfield, I believe, and intercept by the Devils. Don't play the puck right now, chasing the puck all the way back. Montembeau play the puck, he passed the puck all the way back to the blue line. Intercept now by Zuski, Zuski at the blue line, it's coming now. Drop the puck back to Carfield, Carfield to Ash Mack, rim the puck around for himself, rim the puck all the way in the corner. Drop the puck right there, intercept by Anderson, bring the puck all the way back to Zuski at the Ash Mack, keep the puck for himself in front of Urshire, back again to Anderson, and finally Nico Urshire try to get the puck outside in front of Carfield. The puck stuck right there by Carfield, battle right now with Nick's uh, part of the, the Anderson. Finally, the is coming now with 13 seconds to go. Zero shot for the Montreal Canadiens during that power play. And uh, they have only nine shots during that game. And that's what we're at. Uh, and going to restart right away. We have become a five versus five. And that's one area on Montreal really struggle uh, is on power play. And I don't understand why, but that's not a subject. Check Evan will now kick out the puck right there. Shoot the puck. Uh, miss the net. Uh, maybe miss the net. But uh, finally, the puck go in the stand. And that's what happened uh, during the power play. Zero penalty uh, for the Montreal Canadian. Zero shot on the power play. That's it. Florida tied the game 2 2. Yes, uh, John Tavares just tied the game. And that's what we're at. Um. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, the next one, you know, coach, I don't know his name yet. Uh, Martin Saint Louis, the worst sport player I never saw. Wow, so important, Nicholas. Uh, yeah, they will have penalty, uh, Michael Bossejo. Welcome aboard, Michael. Uh, we got a penalty for two minutes and uh, men, too many men on the ice. Uh, Star, welcome back. Anderson should be removed from this line. Uh, go, Avs, go, Jerry, 1977. Look, I, I, I know I'm going to surprise you, but I will try to put maybe uh, Joel Armia. I could be wrong here. Uh, look, but uh, I will try Armia. Harry, welcome back. Uh, Here we go. Go abs, go Nuna. Welcome back, Nuna. Thank you. We have a TV time now. And part in the town to it. 12 minutes to go remaining on the second period is 2 2. Uh, look like a lot of fiscalities during that game, honestly. The shot are 14 12 advantage the Florida Panthers. That's what we at at that moment. Uh, Charles Taylor, I was thinking the same thing, coach. I know, look, we think always the same thing. We just not always agree, but. Don't forget, guys, click on the like. That'd be awesome. Thanks for joining us for the Hockey Nation Live Show. We really appreciate it. We are really thankful, grateful for having in to have each one of you in the house. Charge. You're absolutely right about this, Nicholas. He's not have a great hands, right? He's an all-south player. Not great on the scale, the uh, stick angling. Quick release. Now the Devils coming. Jack Hughes bring the puck behind. Now the Devils on the back door. Great stick by the Montreal Canadiens to seal the puck as Subin. Now the Devils coming. Now Montreal change the direction. Montreal drive the puck on the back door. He's coming right now. He's going to Jack Evans. Lose the puck right there. Recovery by the Devils. He's going to dump in the puck all the way behind David Savard. And no chance right there. But Montreal right there could show something there. Great stick by the Montreal Canadiens over the Puck, still the puck to pick and Subban. Now the puck will deep zone by Jake Evans, bring the puck in the corner. Battle right now with Pitlick. Turn around by the Devils. They're going to try to get the puck outside the zone. Intercept by Jake Evans, no chance. They're going to give away puck by uh, the defenseman, the Devils. No chance for Mike Hartman. Now the puck go all the way back on the defensive zone. They don't pin the puck behind the net uh, of the Emerson. Bring the puck back to a uh, deal reverse for Justin Barron. Justin Barron with the puck. Austin Barron, keep the puck for himself. Love the puck all the way back in the neutral zone. Keep the puck a little bit too far for Pitlick. Try to get a puck and find a goaltender. Pitlick still the puck right there. Pitlick control the puck. Back to Barron. Barron's coming. Fire! And over the shoulder of the goaltender, the puck go all the way back on the defensive zone. Justin Barron was trying to score his first goal with the Montreal Canadiens. I don't know. I think I knew zero goal in NHL. That'd be great if he scored the first goal at his first, first game with the Montreal. Pitlick went out. A Baron enter a miscommunication. Right now the puck go in the corner, chasing right now by the Baron. Intercepted by the Bills. The puck go outside his own Montreal. Rick tried to battle for the puck behind the net. Uh, they go all the way back in the corner. The Montreal looking bunch in the direction. Edmonton put some pressure, and then yeah, Montreal going to have a two minute. I'm sure. Or tripping, we have a call right away there, and the devil's going to be on the power play uh, for the first time. Also, uh, tripping for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, that's what happening at that moment. Uh, two minute tripping. Josh Anderson, the man we talk about. Uh, we'll see how Montreal is going to go. Charge, go. Uh, no, no, one. We write that. Um, Come on, abs, Ari. Uh, so mad, Ari. It's all good. Face off the right side, Samuel. Uh, tomorrow, uh, five game, I believe. Tomorrow night, uh, every game this week, guys. You have minimum five game per night in NHL. Over fifty goal, uh, fifty games this week on the NHL. When he played Montreal Canadiens, the run enough right now. Don't pin the puck all the way back, uh, and I seen the puck the first five seconds of this one over there. 
Now the puck go behind the goaltender. They was going to recover is a reason that's coming with a puck now skating in front of the Biron. Believe a uh, turn around. They drop the puck behind to Jake Evans. Try uh, Jake uh, Jack Hughes uh, turn around. Keep the puck for himself. They're going to reset past the puck. Uh, the red lines coming to Brad. Now it's going to kick out the puck. Intercept by Saval. Saval keep the puck right now. At by Zuski. Zuski control the puck in deep zone. Zuski turn the direction. Chasing went out by three, four players by the red jersey. Zuski won the battle. Intercept now by Jack Hughes coming to the red line. It's control the puck right there. Turn the direction right there. Try to get set up the breakout and uh, the breakaway. Uh, the way breakout and a turn around by the Devils going to bring funny net. The puck goes to the left corner. Recovery by Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes bring, bring the puck all the way back to the left side. I think it's just with Brad. That's the puck to the blue line. Al Silverson bring the puck back to the left side. Now control the puck behind the goal, then the, uh, behind the goal line. Bring to defenseman Silverson. Back to Jack Hughes coming down. Hughes looking at the back door. Uh, turn around by Brad. Brad to Silverson. Shoot the puck. He missed the net completely. Back to Jack Hughes again. Run the puck all the way back. Leave the puck all the way back to Brad on the left side right there. Control the puck at the goal line. Now change the position. Mitchell position. Switch the position. Back to Sir Rinson. Bring the puck to the left side. Now the devil's coming looking. Showing for net. They missed the net. Intercept again by Jack Hughes. 35 seconds remaining on the power play. Now Hughes coming on in front of the uh, of the Devil Rack. Hughes coming in front of uh, Montalbo. He hit the bar, the crossbar, I believe, or the door. Intercepted out by Sevenson. Uh, no chance for Devil Rack. The puck go back to Jason Brett on the right side of, uh, of the Montalbo. Looking, stick and gleam now. Looking for a uh, back door. Pass to the defenseman Sevenson. Look back on the left side. Fire! And stop by Romanov. The puck go back to Bastion. Bastion went out to Brett. Sevenson fake to shut the puck. Back to Jason Brett. And the back door! And the goal! Power play goal, Jack Hughes, second goal of the game at 24 of the season. And that way, the Devils take the lead over the Montreal Canadiens. Cannot do anything about that. Uh, uh, Mitch Station, uh, Devarek could bring the puck outside the zone at some point, but he did not make it. And that way, the Devils take the lead 2-0 over the Montreal Canadiens, uh, where it's going to be hurt them, uh, honestly. Uh, that goal hurt the Montreal Canadiens. Power play goal, Tripping by number 17, Josh Anderson. Uh, Ramanov tried to block the shot, but uh, no chance right there. Ramanov not very happy. Uh, uh, Winnipeg, Desalu, a goal. Visit Coyote, GD Sport. Uh, and a puck go outside the zone. Uh, go all the way behind the goaltender. Uh, Downs bring the puck around to Jake Evans. Uh, and he said, remember the first game? The Devils beat the Montreal Canadiens 6 1, and that was the last game of Dominique Charm on the. Uh, it was the last game on the, the Dominique Charm behind the bench for the Montreal Canadiens. And that's what we have. We have a TV timeout. Uh, we're going to reset uh, at that moment. Uh, power play Montreal, I think, too many men again, I believe. The Colorado tied the game 1 1, by the way. Uh, Arizona. When he paid 2 0, but it looked like the goal is this is this low. Philadelphia and the Nashville still 4 4 over there. Florida 2 2. Again, West Run and the base of power play and Nicholas. Uh, <laughs> the puck movement, when you have a player stick and gling the puck, when you come, we not have. Uh, that's the trend between both teams, of course. Uh, look, uh, Nicholas, about that. Power play, second power play for the Montreal Canadiens. We'll go to wait. We are now on the TV timeout, so let's dive in there. Don't forget, guys, click on the like. That'd be awesome. We appreciate each one of you to be a part of the Hockey Nation live show. Stuck right there. Power play. Let's go. Time to come back right now. 
or I stick mild wood on the face of Joel Emerson. Uh, they want to the Pagel Brothers leave the corner and they go. The pack went out winning by the Devils. They are coming now on the P on the PK. The pack with the left side intercepted now by a McLeod with the Warrack and the pack go behind the net and reset by the Montreal Canadian and Nick Zuski at the blue line kick out the pack to the left side. Now the Warrack went out on the opposite side. Nick uh, bring a uh, stop the pack right there at five or six and that's what we have with one minute. 36 seconds remaining on the power play. Montreal need to come back right away there. Coach, can you please make a call to Roger L and see what's wrong with him? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. You're a funny coach every night. Thank you so much, Dan. I appreciate a lot uh, about that. Uh, this kid need to score at that moment. Uh, A park where camp by Mizuski driving park to Whiteman. Whiteman set up right now. In the park to Ski in the corner on the ash mark. Back to Whiteman. Whiteman looking for Caulfield at the blue line. Chase went up by Whiteman. Bain Bar right now. Zuski's coming now. Fire! Over the again on the glass over the shoulder. That's not only Zuski and the Toronto Maple Leaf just score. And on power play goal. And Tavares second goal of the night at Toronto Maple Leaf. Take the lead 3-2 over the Mount the Florida Panthers. And uh, that's what we had. Uh, and uh, the penalty right now for the, the, the for the Panthers. And that's what the Toronto take the lead 3-2 over the Florida Panthers. Uh, the puck winning right now by the Devils. So bring the puck right there. They're going to dump in the puck all the way back. Uh, and the Montreal cannot keep the puck all the way back in the zone. Uh, and that's where they go all the way back. The Montembo. Montembo pass the puck all the way back. And Montembo look like Mike Smith right now. Pass the puck to Ski to Coffee. Coffee's keeping it up. Coffee control the pipe behind the net, lose the edge and losing the puck. And the puck go all the way back on the defense on the Montreal Canadian with less of one minute than Montreal have what? Uh, maybe one shot during that one. I'm not sure you have a one shot on power play. And now we have a, something happening right there. We have a, some scrum and. That's it. I don't know what's happening right there. I don't know who was. Uh, it, the play was in the back and behind a slap shot. The likes of Buddy check the subscriber. John Tavera is the captain, scored his second goal of the night. Uh, and that way. Um, uh, OMG 5 assist 3. Wow, five is three for the Montreal Canadian. That's what's happening right there. Can Montreal take advantage of that one over there? And we have to stop all the way over there in the corner. We'll see if the Montreal, it was the beauty of the, yeah, I saw that on the pass for that. Uberdo was in the Benet box. And before that was Kuda, so that the Florida. Lose their mind right now, and they're losing the game. Marriage checks at it, and the next so far, hopefully, they turn things around. Go, ads, go, look, for soon. <laughs> 56 seconds remaining on the power play for the Montreal Canadiens. 5 versus 3. They were wrecked right now, tried to get a puck. And the puck go all the way back. Montreal is coming. Caulfield right now. Looking right now. Caulfield to the left line. Bring the puck right now. And a bad play by Cole Caulfield. The puck go outside the zone. Unbelievable. Um, what's going on with the Montreal Canadiens? Mike Hoffman right now. Control the puck. Go set up right now. Hoffman right there. Stop the puck right there. Bring the puck to the blue line. All the way back now to uh, Pit Lake. Pit Lake right now to Ski. Back to Caulfield down. Back to Ski. Back to Hoffman. Hoffman looking. Back to Pit Lake. Back to Hoffman. Hoffman right now is coming up. Back to pit lake. In the back door. They lose the puck right there. Recovery right now to the line by Hoffman. Back again to left side right there. Back to Kaufman. Uh, to Caulfield. The puck bounce everywhere. The puck go back to the ski. Change the position with Caulfield. Back to Caulfield. Ten seconds to go. Five is to three. Back to Hoffman. Back to the pit lake. Shoot the puck in front of the net. Oh, get save again. Rebound. And then side over there. Back again. Caulfield shoot the puck. Save by Dawes again, the coach Dawes make a big save back to back, and the Montreal can score. Now turn around by Pit Lake, Pit Lake to Caulfield. Caulfield looking right now, Paddle back to Hoffman. That's five versus four. Great save by Nico Dawes. 
Two times, they went back to Dorek, and they went back to uh, Caulfield. Caulfield went out to Ashman, back to Hoffman. Hoffman looking, Hoffman's coming, back to Caulfield. Fire! Fire! Over the glass and over the net right there. They have a battle right now, Hoffman. Give the puck to Caulfield. Caulfield the wrong side. Caulfield to Ashman, back to Hoffman. He shoot the puck! Save, no rebound. And uh, Devils uh, resist to the push for the Montreal Canadian. What a save! Two time. Still Caulfield. He's still uh, Nick Zuski. He's still Devil Wreck. Nico Daz. Amazing, great performance right now for the Devils. And that keeps the score 2 0. Wow, what a performance right there. Nico Zuski shoot on the goalie. Or you'll shoot in the top shell over there. Uh, that's where we're at. A 5 versus 4. And the Montreal cannot take advantage of the power play five versus three, but still have a power play for over 40 seconds right now at 245. The puck go to Whiteman. Whiteman should have puck fire. Missed the net completely. Recovering up at the corner. All the way back to the left side. All the way keep the puck. All the way Montreal Canadian battle for the puck. All the way back to Ellen and to Peru, I believe. I don't know. Ellen and back to the blue line to Whiteman. Whiteman are looking for back to Ellen. Fire! Save again in front of the net. Battle in front of the net. Nobody try to get a puck. The puck turned around. They'll come back to Whiteman. Whiteman on back on the left side right there to uh, Dauphin, I believe. Dauphin control the puck right there, looking for himself. Back to Whiteman. Whiteman to the left side. Whiteman on the fire again. In the middle. Josh Anderson score. Montreal Canadian tied the game. They cut the lead for 2-1. Two to one. Josh Anderson piled, got the lead from two to one. Reverse. Josh Anderson, 16 of the season, power play goal. And the Montreal uh, cut the lead from two to one. And that's what we had at that moment with uh, 154 to go remaining on the uh, second period. And that's what we had. I uh, hit the one, the left the shot over there. The goal's coming up. Let's go, Montreal Canadiens with uh, one final. Let the Devils recover the puck. Finally, the puck go back to Byron. Byron go to the Sava. Sava to Byron. Byron's control the puck right now. Pass the puck left side. Long stretch pass right now to Caulfield. Caulfield's coming. Caulfield going around. Caulfield in front of Edmonton. Bring the puck to the blue line. Go Dizzy. Back to Sava. Sava get the puck left side to Zuski. Back to Anderson. Miss the puck. Intercept by Romanov. Romanov shoot the puck. And miss the save by the goaltender. No rebound. That's what we had at that moment with about one minute, 30 seconds remaining. We have a whistle on the left side of the Nico Adas. That's where we are right now. The Montreal Canadiens cut the lead. Uh, two to one. Uh, Josh Anderson's score is 16 of the season. We're going to put the, uh, the goal up. And we're going to get there. Give me a few seconds. And I'm going to be back uh, right there. 16, one, six. Uh, and right there. Here we go. The puck went out winning by Urshire. And the puck dumping by the Devils and uh, recovery by Savo to the red line. Go to get the puck to Hoffman. Hoffman changed his direction. Hoffman look around. He's coming to red line. Get the puck for himself. Draw the puck deep zone. And just up by the Devils by Jake Kevin now. And now the Devils coming now. Savo down the puck on the other side. Go back to the left side. Now Pitlick's controlling. Pitlick in front of the net. Hoffman cannot control the puck. And then the Devils set up the puck. Lump the puck right there. And just up around enough. We have a whistle at the blue line uh, with 54 seconds remaining on the second period. Less of one minute uh, and that's what we are. Uh, can show game? No, match family. We cannot show the game of a slate. It's impossible. Uh, nobody can show the game, at least if you are sport net. Uh, but you can watch the game, uh, major family, at uh, www.sportsrp.com. Uh, that's where you can see the game, uh, honestly. The park went up in the month against the Army. Lose the pocket of the blue line under the whistle. Uh, uh, outside of that one, uh, they pass so much better. Five or six, the offensive zone, but not sure why they draw the tempo so much on the power play. It's another thing I think it's essential what to do. 
Um, I've been as the long there uh, uh, was too long there, uh, Taylor. Uh, go abs, go charge. No, no. The puck go deep, deep. I saw off, saw off, and I pass the puck, and the puck go all the way back. Understand another whistle at the ten. As you see, at Toronto, contre les Panthers, on est déjà. Oh, félicitations, madame. Je suis en train de voir une pelle passer. Uh, Ryan, the problem is the Rangers not going to trade Zibanejad for Zuzki uh, because Zuzki, uh, Zibanejad is better overall. First up, a neutral zone. Uh, go Panthers, Ninja. Hey, Pokemon card are awesome. Wow, long time, Pokemon. Welcome back, buddy. Can I watch the game? Yes, you can watch the game on www.sportsrp.com. That's why you can watch the game Sports. IRP.com, you can go there and watch the game, buddy. And the puck ran out behind the net. Doug Edmondson recovered the puck, battle with uh, the Warrack. And finally, the puck to the side. Romanov keep the puck deep zone. Don't put the puck behind the goaltender. Intercept by the Warrack, I believe, change the direction in front of uh, the defenseman or the, def the Devils. The puck goes back Armia. Armia could not do back again by Savar. Savar ran the puck to the Warrack. Leave the puck right out. The Devils battle for the corner. We have 10 seconds to go remaining on the this uh, period and the finally the devil's going to get out of the zone with three seconds to go someone intercept the puck uh, it's going to be the end good night oh. sorry about that this is the end the second period at the prudential arena in um in uh, uh, new jersey uh during the second period uh, the Devils, Jack Hughes scored his second of the game at 24 this season at 14, 16 during the power play to give the, the lead from the, from the Devils 2-0 over the Montreal Canadiens. Brad and Zerson got an assist. But three minutes later, um, three minutes and 20 seconds later, Josh Anderson scored his 16 of the year. Uh, no power play goal. I thought it was a probably Elon in that call up from the Laval got an assist on that one. A great one a great one timer of Jesse and then Chris Whiteman uh, and another assist. Whiteman honestly have 19 assists with really the quarterback for the Montreal Canadian uh, uh, right now for uh, power play. And then was the end of this uh, period part a uh, score of the 2 1 Devils. The shot of 18 18 after uh, 40 minutes. We have Andrew Lepage going to be joining us the next couple of minutes uh, and we're going to talk about the game. I just want to set up the third period so when we be back uh, we're going to be ready for the third period let me finish this one over there i just want to be sure we are right uh, everything looking good on the board right there welcome everybody thanks you join us and uh, we appreciate don't forget guys to click on the likes and welcome back uh, directly from nova scotia the inside of the hockey nation show mr andrew lapage back hey. in the house how's it going coach everybody enjoying the game we looking good not too bad um how do you, what do you feel about a second period? Uh, we're, I'm glad we're only behind one. I didn't like the way we came out, tell you the truth, overall. I, I found us more sluggish in this game, but back-to-backs, I'm not really all that surprised. Anderson has got to stop taking those offensive penalties, and we're just putrid on the power play <laughs> we you know if the guys just start shooting they're trying to make that perfect play they're passing around just a little too much uh, but, uh, i think i like the first that. power play for the montreal canadian honestly uh no uh, we no. get a five three he's still fighting with a five a play with five forward and i'm not sure is the right things over there um, I agree. but again um Montreal finally they find Jesse Island and got uh, a pass on the great one timer. Did you see the for timer? That, that was one? Nice. That was beautiful, beautiful shot. And then like have I some say, uh, some power over there. He does, he does. So maybe they'll they'll start using him a little more on that power play because. But amazing gotta, when you think about uh, this, the Eichel's nation. The the, the part was what eighty mile per hour, ninety mile per hour, and Anderson find a way to tip that puck is pretty amazing. It's unbelievable. It is. It is beautiful play. Beautiful play. But I mean, that's just it. More of getting it on the net instead of playing with it. You know, like I say on the power play, they just seem like they're trying to make one too many passes all the time. Um, that'd be some. Yeah, 
Uh, Ryan, welcome back. Uh, obviously, Ryan, um, you know, it's like any trade you want to trade, Ryan, you have to uh, dance both team. Uh, nobody will trade Hoffman like for uh, Bram, uh, Sutter, or uh, Marchasso, uh, Ryan. You have to give uh, maybe Suzuki if you want to get Bram. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, it's easy to promote someone, but you don't want to give a lot, you want to get more. So you have to be well, balanced, uh, Ryan, about your about that one over there. So uh, uh, that would be something you have to look about that for sure. Uh, tell her, other can make David out there, other checkers to Mr. Andrew. Ça va, fait for ce ticket. Salut, Nicolas de Gobi Bono. 5-4 Nashville beat the Flowers. Demain, j'ai une pratique, mon Nicolas. OK. Uh, good evening, Mr. Caleb South. Uh, pre, um, oof, okay. Caleb. Fans of the Detroit Red Wings. <laughs> Uh, Alan Prizik, uh, 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 W for the New Jersey 5 to 1. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I see New Jersey taking this. But, hey, I'm shocked that it's only we're only down one again. If we can pull it together somehow. This is uh, the only thing is, is they're, they've, you know, they, they were able to pull it together last night more so towards the second. And yes. So now... Uh, You know. We have to welcome uh, first time Vegas uh, 781. Welcome aboard. Hopefully, you go to subscribe hey, hey, to the show. Welcome. He has a question for you, and Drew. How's Barron's doing? I think he's not doing too bad right now. Right now, he's playing okay. You know, he, he's he got pinched a more one time. He gave a 2 1 at the beginning of the second period. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, we have to be careful. Uh, but yeah. overall, after that, it was pretty good. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah. like, not like wow. But uh, he did not did not make any mistake, and he covered his guy. Uh, I think the Montreal protect him a lot, right? Uh, yes, but you can yes. see, uh, you know, he, he need to Give learn more, more experience. So that's what happening right now. When it, yeah. everybody thinking, oh, everybody's going to have Cooley be fine, and Baron will be great, and then Nolan will be good, Aris be good. No, they, it's a learning it's as a defenseman. Time. It's so hard. Um, yeah. You know, so um, the NHL. at least they have an exception yeah. like McCarr, but good skater, yeah, good mindset yeah. offensive. I think he should have one time over the glass, uh, over the net. Uh, great pass by Hoffman, I believe. Uh, but yeah. uh, otherwise, um, you know, uh, I think he's not too bad at all about that. Uh, I think he'll be fine. I think he'll yeah. give him some time under his belt. He'll be all right. Exactly. Uh, they are too predictable with a pass on the power play. Uh, oh, are they ever? How often the pass get broke up by the sick? I'm not taking about pass into the slot. Or try it. The problem with Nicholas, they don't go for the back door. Exactly. So what do you do? Exactly. They go only on the umbrella pass for the one timer, and Jack yeah. Hughes score what on the back door. Exactly. So what do you do? They they really start to play on the ash mark. And what we do, us we we play we play from the top. And then we pass to the left or the right, and we expect a shot for Caulfield to the top circle or, or uh, Zuski and Caulfield, a one timer. At using the bumper more, using the guy in the back door, slip behind, you don't see that. They are too much, they, too much it's called like they are too much stationary where they at. So they're going exactly. to go up and down. And they have to go exactly. that direction, moving the square. If you stay where Caulfield there and Zuski stay there, No movement. They just make the squad say, oh, we don't have to move here. So they exactly. have to get better from the, not from the top, from the low, right? Yep. So from below. And start from yep. that, after that, below, top, back. And that's where exactly. you go. After that, go from the less east to west. And that's why they don't move that, the puck about that one over there. I, I um, think that'll be, have to address over the summer for sure. They're going to have to look at getting somebody in there to fix that power play. We have Mr. Peter August in the house. Welcome aboard, Mr. Peter. Peter. Thank you, Vegas uh, 781. I appreciate a lot uh, for your subscribe, uh, sub. Uh, what is personal injury? I'll be honest with you. Matra was really uh, quiet today uh, because first, yeah. they're traveling. Mm -hmm. Secondly, they show up uh, you know, late last night, so he let the players go back late. So he had no press conference, nothing during the day, Alan. Uh, at, moment, at that moment, me, I don't know, honestly, yeah. Uh, yeah, about that one over there, what he has. But he was uh, pretty upset. He was pretty upset, so I'm kind of concerned it's serious. It's where it was. I will watch for uh, him. Uh, two more likes, we can do it. Uh, Jack Hughes, a cold coffee, uh, 
uh, star yeah on flame one more yeah exactly my point to preserve and no fantasy and Einstein Nicholas uh, yes if uh, Ren if abs get uh, Sean Wright Dakovsky a right uh, trio won't look too shabby exactly I mean I don't think we have to concentrate just on right either I mean there's there's four or five guys in that that top part of the draft that will will make things look a little better for us so oh, right. think about this I right, right is the center yeah it would be nice to have him it would be nice no, to no, have him point, so you cannot put the ski and right well and yeah Caulfield together yeah exactly right? so can't that's the point line, it was the point behind that one over there so uh yeah uh that's right uh Shane Wright uh one of the no, no. hi Andrew can he say hi Hello. to you about that Hello. one over there uh Mr Andrew when you come here uh sometime you had to step up uh, about that one over there um uh, sounds look insane. like we get the 100 101 mr andrew it's time for what nice. while we hit the 100 what we do mr andrew <laughs> 100 likes there we go 100 subscriber and the next subscriber likes today rivers 100 likes Thank you, everybody. 102, 102. Thank you so much, everybody, for your likes today. We are really appreciate again. You are the one to make it friends right here, and uh, and your chat, and also uh, from Andrew. Uh, what the score? Donuts. The score is two one. Donuts for the New Jersey over the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, we're fortunate. Uh, what do you think of Baron? Um, let's, let's go again. What do you think about Baron? Yeah. I think he'll be fine. He's, yeah, he's got some nerves, no doubt about it. But he he's, he settles in here and there. He's, and you, like you say, they are definitely blanketing him right now. There's no doubt about it. But I think he'll, he's going to be fine. Just give him some time. I agree with you about that one over there. Um, about that. Um, we we'll see. It, it, it's just experience, right? And yes, that's, that's totally. about that. Um, Wait. About that, uh, Taylor said Pittsburgh 11 2, everything. What what do you think for the Montreal right now to do at least to come back? i would be great if they get at least one point. But what, what do you expect they have to do for the third period? Like Alan said, he expect 5 1 now. Montreal travel. Montreal do a back to back. Uh, yes. Devils do a back to back, but they play home the most. So we'll be interesting about that. So what do you have to do about that one? Uh, I mean, again, they got to move the puck, they got to keep. Put, keep applying the pressure. Get to the front of the net and start firing, and try to get that their shots down a little lower. They're always firing high, so I think that's half of their problem is they're missing three quarters of their shots. But just keep keep putting some pressure. I don't find we're putting enough pressure on their defense. And I agree if, with if you about apply, one over there. Uh, yeah. Ren asking you because you you are in that area. What do you think about Riley Kidney? Oh, I think he's he's going to turn out half decent. Tell you the truth, uh, you know, I, I kind of I do see him as a possibly in, in a third liner in that range. That's what I see him as. So that's that's where I kind of project him. But you know, it's another one. When I said that, nothing it gets you late, but it, it, you know, you have to fight with Joshua Rua. You have to fight with Ian yeah. Mesa. You have to fight with Sean Farrell. Uh, exactly. You have to fight with. Uh, uh, Kapanen right now is looking great right now. And the rap is uh, saying he's come back. He had five goals the last six games. Uh, Kapanen nice. uh, over there. So that's another prospect over there. And that's not including everybody else like Pinar and right. uh, everything like that. So the, uh, at, at that age, it's so far. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, they go to, no, we have to wait. Look, Jason, I don't know. It's what, year number four? Three exactly. at least for the Montreal. He, he barely can make it. That's right. And, you know, really, I think that's why Laval is so important. At least they're facing professionals. And it's a change for them to be facing professionals. So they got to get used to that. And you really don't get the full um, co uh, comprehension of how they're going to turn out until they've had a little time with a professional league. You know what I'm saying? Then yep. when they set settle in, then you get a, little, a better idea how they're going to be. That's helping Montreal with the Adam Nicola, the new guy for the player development ski, skill. Yeah. I'm helping those yeah. kids for sure about that, Ren. So we'll they see what it. they look like. He, he have a great year right now, Riley, um, uh, over there. Yeah. Uh, like Joshua, yeah. who over there. 
And by oh, the way, um, they have to cut their, their hair, uh, Mr. Um, um, uh, Andrew, Danny, and Kelly, I believe. I don't know why. Oh, but, so I, I believe next we're going to do a ball night show. That sounds good. Uh, all the that insider have to be bald to be part. So, <laughs> and uh, not, you know, Tap cannot participate. Well, he's almost there. So he's getting know, there. He's, just, he's in denial. That's he's all. getting he's there. He's almost there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Nicholas and Andrew agree so much on that. Must be shot lower to at least keep the puck in the zone. Those I shot only go around and out there. Great. Yes. Any pressure that they we work very hard. So for just shot. I'm not sure what the lead did. Uh, lose last night is between her and, and a tap, uh, Danny. Uh, but I think for that, again, sometimes you have to book, the, you cannot move the puck north south. You have to go sometimes east west. Oh, and definitely. Look oh, about definitely. the success of the Tampa Bay. It's not always from St. Coast. That's right. How many times you get a goal from Point and Killorn and Kusharav from the, the ash mark to the goal line and the bumper? Yes. Right? Totally. And I think yeah. one play is very good. It was good. It was Arizona. It was Christian. They were wrecked on the bumper. Yeah. And Montreal never used the bumper. That's it. And that's. And uh, they had to find a way right now uh, to do. do that. I'm not sure, yeah. me, but I'll be honest with you. Um, yeah. I will use more Zuzuki at the goal line and not at the ash mark. Yeah. I would use yeah. Hoffman at the ash mark. If Definitely. ever you want a one timer with that, he's always been great Hoffman over there. You yeah. still have Caulfield to the right side over there. Use the mm -hmm. rack and the bumper in the middle, right? Yeah. And then you have only white men. But I will make that change. I would remove Josh Anderson out and change. And I know Zixiski score a lot on the top circle, but you don't have to do it all the time. You, you can right. shift there over up. there. You have and I think that we're helping about that one over there for me. Definitely. Definitely. That would be something I would think switch. about this. Yep. Most definitely. You can't keep it the same all the time. Otherwise, they can read you inside out. So they get too used to you. Uh, exactly. Question for Andrew. What does, the, the, what does he think about the Rackel trade for the Pittsburgh? Oh, I thought that was great. To tell you the truth, I think that he's a perfect fit over there. Personally, I think he's uh, he improves the team. He gives them more, um, you know, more down the line, uh, more stability. And uh, yeah, I think he's just a perfect fit, and I think he's going to help them in the playoff run. To tell you the truth, gives them a, a better chance. Let's just put it that way, right? Uh, the only problem for him, honestly, he have a couple of great year with Anaheim Ducks, right? For the last two years, he got a lot of injuries. Yeah. And that's, that's what the yeah. problem right there. He have turned down sometimes to get an injury prone or something like that. So we need have to learn mm -hmm. about that to get better. Uh, uh, you know, I know it's the wrong way, but uh, it's a great action. Get they give to the Pittsburgh deep the depth and their and their team that's right exactly. now with Malcolm Crosby. Yeah. You know, Ross and Guanzel. Now you have Zucker. We don't talk. We have Carter over there. Yeah, even Rodriguez. The top nine is solid over there. Yes, very, very. Minnesota win and OT uh, Yamo said. Nice. Wow, nice. surprisingly. Uh, all right, Mr. Inotap, uh, Mr. Inotap, Mr. Andrew, we wish you an amazing great night. And I will see you, you maybe after the pray after the game a little bit later. Sounds good. Enjoy Thank you so much game. again for your insight. I will take you a little bit later. Thank you so much. All right. On. Okay. Yep. Have a good one. It was Mr. Andrew Lepage directly from the Nova Scotia talking about the game. A bad period for everybody. Have an amazing, great uh, third period for everything. Look like Minnesota uh, beat the Colorado Avalanche and OT. Uh, really interesting that to hear that. Um, uh, it's a Fiala score on power play. Wow, on power play. That's the reason maybe they win. The, about that. Uh, We have right now waiting for the game start. I think they talk about Canada against Jamaica on the soccer. And I feel like a Canada win. Uh, a great look like a goal right there. I'm watching what's going on, on the TV. What do you think about the Canadian to Colorado? It could like to Edmonton. I didn't ask you before. Uh, pretty good. I think for what Montreal uh, got back and returned, that's pretty good. They got Justin Barron. 
and that's a good one. We got a Legasson, but for that, uh, Edmonton gave us a second round pick, I believe, and a four round pick or something like that. Uh, I think that's a good return round for uh, what we got that uh, Dumba, it Ratanen, and then McKinnon, a fat Dumba. Wow. I will go to start the third period. And uh, Devils, we wish you an amazing, great third period, everybody. Thanks for us. Don't forget to click on the likes. Uh, and good luck. Uh, we're still out. Uh, yes, the paper works. Um, cannot work. Uh, yep, Canada, the win calls. They are World Cup now. They meant to. That's awesome about that. Uh, five game Monday night, uh, uh, Tuesday, nine, six, Wednesday, nine, Thursday, seven, Friday. Uh, I'll do, yeah, a minimum five game. We're going to drive the park and have a great Ken Montreal come back. Uh, We battle for the face off right now is Urshara, but the down ping the puck right away on the defensive side. Recovery right now by the Devils and uh, try to get a puck outside the zone. Down ping the puck all the way on the offensive side of Montreal Canadian. And he's going to reset right now by Romana. Romana battle for the puck right now. Bring the puck to Jake Evans. Uh, intercept right now by Urshara. And the puck going to the corner of Evans and Urshara battle for the puck. Uh, Evans loses his edge. Romana battle also recovery right now by the Devils uh, and go to the D. They are coming out. Fire! And miss the net completely. The puck go outside the zone. It's going to be all the way back on the defensive zone. And he's going to reserve an out with 19, 29 to go uh, on the uh, third period. Now the puck go back on the defensive. Ryan Grease, I believe, don't pin the puck in front of the Montembo. And it's a seven out, bring the puck around the board. And the puck go outside the zone. Anderson try to get a puck intercept right now by the defense by Hamilton. Almost close like an interference, but no call for the ref. And the puck go by the Devils coming out deep zone. Battle right now by Edmondson. Edmondson turn around, lose the edge. Recovery right now by Hoffman, but lose the puck right now. Possible a penalty for Hoffman. 12 tripping, and that's what I thought about that. And the Montreal Canadiens go to give another power play. And the Devils going to be on the power play right now. And that's what we at at that moment. Mike Hoffman, two minutes for tripping, easy call. Uh, that's Martin saying we're not very happy about that one over there. Three two to leave over the Florida Panthers. Here we go, the puck go to defensive. Uberdo 69 as so far. The puck go to Jack Hughes. Yes, Hughes. Uh, Jack Hughes went out, control the puck behind the net, bring the puck uh, again around the net, uh, behind the net, all the way back to the blue line. Uh, and now it's a seven out by um, uh, Sharikovic, I believe, at the goal line. Pushing for the net. Romanov tipped the puck outside his own. Great play by Romanov. The puck go all the way back to Hamilton. No, it's not Hamilton. Uh, the puck go to the left side when. Uh, all the way back to Montreal, Canadian Park of Montembeau, drive the park with David Savard and lob, being the, lob the park all the way back on the defensive zone and go to reset right away. The Devils coming me now to the blue line. Drive the park behind. The Devils coming with speed. And kick out the park to the left side. Back to use. Use to kick out the right away the right there to a, a brass. Uh, no, back to back to the back door. All the way back to Bastion. Bastion went out to Ashmack. Back to the blue line. Persevinson. Shoot a puck. Matembo make a save. The ball back at the corner. Emerson almost get a penalty on that one. The ball go back to Simonson. Back to Hughes. Hughes to the, uh, at the top circle. Hughes coming now. Hughes control the puck. Hughes keep the puck for himself. Hughes at the Ashmack. Looking at the, at the blue line now. Back to Hughes. Hughes back to Simonson. Simonson at the back door. Back again at Dumpon. Hughes coming. Hughes shoot at the back door again. Back to Simonson. The puck moving right now. The devil looking right now at the top circle to the right side of Montembo. Back to Simonson. Back to the left side. Now he fire. Missed the net. Recovered by Hughes. Shoot the puck over the glass. Uh, over the net. Recovered by Hughes by himself. When, when, uh, by Ramanov hit in the corner. Ramanov dumping the puck. Intercept by Simonson. Possible ice stick. Uh, and we have ice stick right away. And the puck go all the way back. Outside the zone, and the uh, Devils did not have no shot on the net at that moment. That's what we at. Uh, Cherry, welcome back. Um, go Devils, go Nicola. Uh, go Abs, go Cherry. Cherry, welcome aboard. Thanks to cheer for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, that line on too long about that one over there. Uh, Ramanov play a solid PK right there. The puck winning by the Montreal Canadiens, lumping the puck all the way back. And with 20 seconds remaining, can Montreal resist uh, on that power play? Uh, zero shots so far. 
uh, for the Devils at that moment. The puck goes back away, the Devils coming down, they drop the puck to left side, keep the puck control, pack the puck to behind, intercept by the Montreal Canadiens, now it's coming out, this is coming to the left side, keep the puck right side, intercept was Biron, intercept went out by the Devils, Biron make a big save with there, the power play is over, five is five, the Montreal Canadiens resist with zero shot uh, uh, at that point for the Devils. Uh, the Devils right now, uh, we have a, a call right there, Power play Montreal, I believe. Here we go. Montreal on power play. Montreal power play. Here we go, Doug Hamilton. <laughs> Two minutes for interference, uh, Doug Hamilton at 312. Uh, can Montreal take advantage of that one over there to the power play? Way back over there. And winning by now, Paddy Devils ran the puck around the board. The puck intercepted the blue line. Paddy Suzuki, I believe, back to left side. The Devils control the puck and finally dumping the puck. And that's what happened. Now, we we'll see interesting what the Montreal can do right there. The puck goes by Whiteman. Uh, pass the puck to the right side. And Suzuki drive the puck to Caulfield, I believe. Suzuki drive the puck behind. Back to Whiteman. Back again to uh, Caulfield. Caulfield comes to the puck. Caulfield control the puck. Caulfield bring the puck to the side. It's coming. Free shot puck. Saved by the Devils. Uh, you have a 2-1, but we have a call right there. Uh, the mask of the goaltender drop, and they have to call right there. And that's happening to Nico Dawes right there. Come on, on two, Patrick. Anyone pick the lever, Kelly? I don't know. Not me. Face on the right, uh, left side, intercept by the Devils. Devils don't pay the puck, uh, and they coming there. Intercept by the Montreal Canadiens. Go back all the way back to the center back door. And shoot the puck, it's a rebound. The Devils put the puck outside the zone. Great opportunity for the Montreal Canadiens with no control, but in front of the net. Uh, and uh, you have to reset right there with uh, less, a little bit over one minute remaining. White man scaling with puck, drive the puck to Ski. Ski to the blue line. Scaling to the red line. Kick the puck right there to Caulfield to the right side. Caulfield's coming. Caulfield showed the puck uh, and say by the goaltender, no rebound. That's what happening at that moment. Uh, we're going to reset with the unit number two now for the Montreal Canadian uh, at that moment. Go abs, go. By the way, I just want to mention for everybody. Round Kings 20, Round Kings 20, got 12 and 0 prediction yesterday. He got all the 12 yesterday, Round Kings 20. He's the first one in the Hockey Nation Live show. I have over 10 pick, all in about 12. The puck on the Malvin right now. Shoot the puck, Hoffman, recovery for the Montreal Canadiens behind the net. And now we have a battle right there. Dauphin finally, they will dump in the puck all the way back. Intercept at blue line for the Montreal. Back to Pitlick. Pitlick right now. Control the puck. Ash to the corner right there. Battle for the Devils. Now another side right now. All the way back to the blue line. Finally, they will dump in the puck and go to recovery behind the goaltender of the Montembeau with 25 seconds to go. Yep. 12 and 0. Ron Kings 20 yesterday. Unbelievable. About that, uh, and after that was 10 and 2. The puck go back all the way back to Montreal, Hoffman to the blue line. They go turn around back to Hoffman uh, with 10 seconds to go. Hoffman go to the blue line right now. Drive the puck behind. Now Montreal's coming out in the back door. Back to Bitlick to Hoffman. Missed the set over there. And Armia missed the puck right there. The defense recovered the puck. Finally, the other power play is over for the Montreal Canadian. And they're going to reset all the way on the defensive zone. They are coming now. Edmonton the back door. Missed the net and missed the puck. And the puck go in the corner battle right now and recovery for the Montreal Canadian at the goal line and go to reset. Everybody's bring some new players on the ice and that's where we are at that moment. Uh, uh, 12 out of this, absolutely, Matt Nespreau. Yep, 
congregation for Round Kings uh, yesterday. The pack went out, Padre Montreal, don't pay the pack at the blue line. Biron uh, cannot get it. Now that it was coming down, they come to left side, coming to left side, right there to, uh, uh, to Montembo. And the back uh, get out, Padre Montreal, Canadian, and it was on, but turnover. Again, by the Montreal, and now turn around by the Devils. Now the Montreal coming on the three versus to kick out the puck to the left side. Back to Ireland and bring the puck behind the net. Uh, too far from uh, Evans. Intercept now by the Devils going to get out of the zone. They are coming without the blue line. Kick out the bl- red line now. They are coming to the left side. Justice Brett in front of Allen. Go there. Make save by in front of the Montembeau. Make a save and run enough. Leave the puck back behind the net and going to reset with Savar Romanov on the ice. The new players coming from the Montreal Canadiens. Same situation for the Devils and going to reset right now behind uh, Jake Allen is David Savar. Pass the puck to the side to Edmondson. Long press pass on the side. They go no tip. A tip on the Montreal. No icing. The puck right now get out by the Devils. Well, possible they are. And intercept right now. Great play by Edmondson. Down the puck right there to Caulfield. Caulfield's coming now. Caulfield shoot the puck. Missed the net completely, or he missed the shot completely. The puck go outside his zone, Paddy Devils. Enter seven up by Justin Barron. Bring the puck to the left side. And no ice in because it's key. Uh, no, uh, cannot touch the puck. Go right there. The puck go in the corner by Edmondson. And go, go, did he back to... Uh, Baron, Baron pass the puck to Caulfield. Caulfield back to Ziski to Hoffman. Hoffman control the puck, draw the puck by Ziski. Change the direction right there. Get the puck back to Caulfield. Caulfield's coming to the left side at the back door. A sharp, he shoot and a save by the Nicola Dals. No whistle, uh, no call right there. Pushing right now. It's Hoffman and Whiteman and everybody dancing all together. And we have a whistle on the left side of Nicola Dahl. And that's it. Wow. Some action on the ice. Uh. Here we go. TV time out. Carousel, but it's a between intermission folks. Uh, here we go. Yeah, carousel. Uh, then we have, uh, where's this one? Is it? Yes, Fernet is back. Fernet is in the house. Here we go. Face off the right side right now. Uh, we have to wait for the face off coming back. Uh, the Panthers attacking right now on the defensive. Danny Coach. Uh, look, hey, Kelly. Coach will not take the lead over the Cats ever, Peter. I took the Panthers to be honest with you. After I saw last night. Uh, go, let's go. Jan O'Brien. Uh, welcome back. Uh, thanks you about this. Yeah. The puck go all the way back uh, on the defensive zone. We have to wait again. Uh, the face off, we are going right there. Mana, we pick Pittsburgh 11 2. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. If it was him, my respect for him. I so much we get a start of the season. One of the smartest guys always stand up for his teammates, and Nicholas. He's not afraid, Nicholas, by the way. Uh, and I'll tell, I have some uh, family manners right there uh, to go. The puck go behind the net of the Devils. Uh, they'll go recovery battle in the corner. And then finally, they, they, they dump in the puck, chasing by Emerson. No icing. They're going to reset behind the net. Uh, and they pass the puck to the board. And they're going to turn around. And the puck go back to the Savar, I believe. Don't dump in the puck to the left side. And the Devils intercept the puck. You go back all the way back by the Devils behind Montembo. And the puck go by the, Oh, another bad pass by <laughs> Montembo. Not nervous. And now Emerson dumping a puck on the defensive zone. Intercept by the Devils going to reset and regroup together. Drop the puck big, deep zone. And they're going to go with about 12 minutes to go remaining on the third period. It's 2-1 Devils. Uh, 
and uh, go did the devils they are coming to the blue line they are coming out on the red line down to the blue line again they are coming right there drive the pipe behind the fire montembo make a save no rebound a great save by some uh, samuel montembo uh and yeah again no rebound a uh, great play by him uh, honestly uh same here gregor uh no gonna on the weekend i don't pick only on the week i do pick uh, here we go Pitlick upset about something. I don't know what's happening there. And the puck right now go to uh, the Devils winning the puck right now. Subban summit. Subban's coming. Subban fire the puck. Montembeau make a save with a blocker. A great play by Montembeau. The puck try to get a puck outside the zone for the data. Lose the puck. Sharinkovic recover the puck. Intercept on the Montreal Canadiens. Saval go to Romanov. Romanov pass the puck in the middle. Go to, uh, to Baron. Back Baron bad pass. Uh, and Amir lose the edge again. Urshire battle with Jake Evans behind the net. Evans try to get a puck in front of the net. No chance. Uh, Kevin Ball in front with Urshire and Amir in the corner. Amir Evans battle for the puck. And just seven out by the Devils. Uh, Subban. But finally, the Devils try to get a puck outside. And they're going to do it. And they'll go back to Nico Urshire. Dumpy the puck. New plus coming for both, both teams with about 11 minutes remaining. And this um, third period coming up. Long stretch pass right there. A little bit too far for the Montreal Canadiens. Going a, a, a whistle. And we're going to start at the left side of the Samuel uh, Montembo. That's where we're at. Welcome aboard, Mr. Frederick Amel. Merci d'être avec nous. Now the puck go behind the net of the, the Devils, recovered by Jason Allen. Oh, a good elbow in the head. And no call right there on that call right there for um, uh, Devils. Wow. The puck turn around for the Devils. Jack Hughes drive the puck to Doug Hamilton. Hamilton's coming in the back door. Uh, shoot the puck, miss the net completely. Montreal get the puck, intercept by Jack Hughes. In front of the net, Hamilton shoot the puck over. And we have whistle right away. But uh, I did not like uh, the help. The, Comment tu vas, mon Taylor? Uh, Frédéric, uh, merci d'être avec nous, mon, mon Frédéric. Uh, let's go, Sans Six Life so far. Good job, everybody. Thanks. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like. Sir, I'm enough. Almost 20 minutes already, Zef. Uh, uh, about that one over there. The park winning right now. Piquet Subban have a good chance for opportunity. Uh, it's not a Piquet Subban we know now. And the pack and the pass uh, it was more active as Zuski won the face off. But all right now, the Montreal is set up. A long stretch pass, intercept by the Devils, dumping the puck, chasing one out by, um, by the Zuski. And for the net, Coffee's coming. Under, shoot the puck, Hoffman. Uh, I don't know. Did something happen to Josh Anderson, guys? I don't, I didn't see Josh Anderson. The puck go back to Zuski. Zuski went out to show the man, shoot the puck, and no rebound. And for the Hoffman, uh, anybody knows what's going on with Josh Anderson? Or maybe, you know, because I don't turn on the, the song. The volume about that. Not a problem, Danny. Um, uh, oui, mon Aiden. Uh, Gadin, welcome aboard. Merci d'être avec nous autres. Je viens de Shungan, mais je demeure aux États-Unis maintenant. <coughs> And we have to wait right now. I face off. Shannon shoot the puck right now. Try to get by uh, uh, Deva Rack. Intercepted up by Ryan Graves. Uh, finally, the puck try to get outside the zone. Intercepted by Shannon Finally, Devils get out. And uh, chase him right now. Uh, pass. Break away. Devils coming. Shoot the puck. Devils is so make a big save. Samuel. Samuel Montembeau make a big save with the club. Wow. What a save of Samuel Montembeau. Wow. Montembo. Wow. What a save.
Montreal Canadiens and take the plane after the game tonight. They are going to direction for the right here at Fort Lauderdale. They're going to take a plane and going to be here for two days. They're going to play again the Panthers Tuesday. So they're going to have a day off and then maybe tomorrow and the, around the beach. Uh, Uh, at the uh, at the Ritz Carlton, straight on the beach. That's where their player leave and follow the Dell. And then after that, they're going to take a plane after the game Tuesday in direction of the North Carolina. Play again the Carolina uh, Thursday night, and then they take a plane again Thursday night. And they're going to be in Tampa Bay for the game number four on the road uh, Saturday night again at Lightning, and then they return to Montreal. After the game, take another time the <laughs> the plane. Uh, they are coming home, uh, so we'll be interesting what Montreal is going to be. Uh, during the week about that one of that Rick Rabitau, welcome aboard. Uh, star, welcome the best to leave. This is Montembeau. I want to see Zev Lecav, Monty Big Save at top corner coach. Nah, uh, it was a breakaway, and uh, he shoot a puck about you know, uh, about the, around the shoulder, not top shell, but again, it was great. Uh, we Toronto met the Montreal again April 9. It will be interesting. Monica Mazur, welcome aboard, Monica, and thank you to join us tonight, Monica. Uh, we have to uh, the puck drop again at the right side of Samuel Montembeau. And Montreal to get a puck outside the zone. Finally, they did it. And they go all the way. Uh, now, Josh Anderson play right now with Pitlick. Uh, at that moment, Pitlick recovered the puck. Turn around right there. Bring the puck to the left side. Intercept by the Devils. They are coming down. And three versus two. All the way back to the blue line. Hughes keep the puck for himself. Hughes looking on the back door. All the way back. And shoot the puck. Missed the net completely. But recovery by the Devils in the corner. Battle. And the puck go all the way back to Jack Hughes in front of the net. The tip. Missed the net penalty by Sharikovic. The puck go to the left side right there. By the Devils. Going all the way up to the blue line. Dumping the puck to Blasso Marzo. Bring to Sharikovic. Back to Jack Hughes. Uh, Hughes control the puck right there. The, the, the Leafs score take the lead 4-2 again the Panthers uh, at another bad play by the Devils by the Panthers I believe and the Devils the Toronto Maple believe uh, take the lead 4-2 at that moment turn around by the Devils right now now Jack Hughes coming shoot the puck and made Montembeau make a big save with a pad turn around again and by the Devils a penalty for the Montreal Canadiens for slashing I believe and I the Montreal take the road uh, for the power play And that's up. No, the Devils, two minutes for slashing. Wow, Montreal on power play. I apologize. And Dawson Mercer, two minutes right there. Mikael score for the leave. The Toronto Maple Leaf score. Again, the, Tor again, the Florida Panthers. The Power play for Montreal the fifth time of the night. Uh, the puck stop at the blue line. Palazuski is keep running back to the blue line right there. But all the way back to Caulfield. Caulfield is wait, waiting right now. Caulfield drives the puck right there to Whiteman. Whiteman stop the puck right there. Try to get a puck to Ski. Don't bring the puck behind the net. Uh, Anderson back on the line on the, with Devarak. Uh, Devarak bring the puck to the, in the middle. Intercept by the Devil. Don't bring the puck again. And Montreal do not do anything on power play. One area Montreal struggle with Martin St. Louis is really on power play. A little bit better. But not good enough to be one that make its friend, honestly. And those kind of game, when a Montreal should know, have a two, three goal, the game is over at that moment. Anyhow, the Devils intercept the puck again. They are coming down to the red line, to the blue line. Now let's keep the puck for himself. It's Urshara. Shoot the puck, intercept by the Montreal Canadiens. They're going to reset right there. Turn around right now by Caulfield. Change the direction. They're going to reset with 60 seconds remaining on the power play for the Montreal Canadiens. New plus coming, and they're going to get back all the way back on the defensive zone. And they reserve a Shenman. Shenman control the puck to the red blue line. Shenman turned around because he had new players coming for the Montreal Canadiens. They just lost 20 seconds just because they are not ready. And that's terrible to see that. Uh, Shenman ran out, drive the puck behind, all the way back to Pitlick. Pitlick to red line. Pitlick control the puck. Kick out the puck to Armia. Armia turned the direction over there. Kick the puck for himself. Armia control the puck. Armia at the blue line. Kick the puck to Hoffman. Shoot the puck. Uh, Miss the net. Pitlick leave the puck and the puck go all the way back on defensive zone with 25 seconds. Zero shot for the Montreal Canadiens during that power play. 
Again, this is the fifth time of the night. Uh, not, 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 not welcome aboard. They go back to Shunneman. Shunneman kick out the puck to right side by Anders, I believe. Go back all the way back to Bitlick. Uh, Bitlick thrown the puck behind the net. Intercept by Ryan Graves. Uh, it's going to be another power play. But intercept by Montreal getting in. Back to Bitlick. Back to the left side with that. Montreal draw the puck by Shunneman. On the goal line. Fire! Miss the net completely. The puck go all the way outside the zone. Shunneman, uh, Shunneman intercept the puck. Uh, the puck go back by Bitlick. And then, then finally the power is over for the Montreal Canadiens. Zero shot and we have five versus five. Turn around right now for the Devils. Drop the puck behind the corner. Battle right now by uh, Justin Barron and also Jake Evan and Urshar recovered the puck. Urshar in the corner. Chase the puck right now uh, with Jason Barron and f keep the key for himself. Barron for the Barron. Uh, Urshar changed his version three times. Again, drip the puck behind the net and recovery by Emerson. Great play by Justin Barron. Again, Urshar never lose the battle. They'll go back to Hoffman, back to Emerson in the corner. About a little bit over six minutes remaining of the second, third period. is still 2-1 for the Devils. The puck go to Dauphin. Dauphin down the puck in the corner. Jake Evan tried to get a puck in front of Subban. Subban battle with uh, Jake Evans, the puck left side, it recovered by Jake Evans. Now the top of the recovery, but I'm talking is in back again to uh, behind the net by uh, Elon and to Jake Evans, back to Dauphin, ran the puck to Jake uh, Jesse, uh, back to Romanov, Romanov to Elon and turn around again, control the puck to Ash Mack, bring the puck in front of the net, tip in front of the net by Evans and miss the net. They've got deep zone by Saval, it's a out by. Uh, uh, Hamilton, Hamilton get a puck, Montreal recovery puck, I mean, um, Montreal control the puck right there, keep the puck all the way back to the blue line, drive the puck back, for coming up, shoot the puck, rebound, and find the net, the, the, again, Montreal consider attacking right now, Ziski control the puck, Ziski control the puck, to back to Ramana, run up backward, coming up looking, new player for the Montreal Canadiens, coming up, shoot the puck behind the net for Josh Anderson, and find it with uh, Hamilton, taking came right now, and then, then Dawson, Marisol, try to get a puck outside the zone, finally they did, the puck go all the way back on defensive zone, for Ramana, with about a little bit more Five minutes to go remaining on the third period. Still uh, 2 1 for the Devils. Romanov winning for the new players coming. Pass to the ski, ski in the middle. Turn around right there. Don't lose the puck right now for the Devils. Get the puck outside the zone. They are coming to the red line. The Devils coming. The three versus three on the offensive zone. Shoot the puck. Miss the net completely. The puck go outside the zone by Anderson. Recovery went out for the defensive of the Devils. Don't pay the puck again one more time. Intercept by Montabo. Drop the puck right now by Shinneman to Whiteman. Leave the puck all the way. Intercept the blue line by the Devils. Go set right now. Fire! Over the shoulder of the Montebo, you have a whistle with four minutes, 40 seconds to go, remaining on the third period. The score is still 2-1. to one. We have to wait for the new players coming. Wow, 23 minutes. Fire! 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 Welcome back, Mr. Alexandre Le Meilleur. Uh, you know, not a lot. I saw now four line, one trial. They don't play a lot. That's our eight minute usually. Coach is Night Florida, number one goalie. No. Uh, Probeski uh, is the golden, the, the golden door number one over there. Uh, Monica, please. Montreal score. Patrick Fan, welcome back. Here we go. First shot at the right side, Samuel uh, Montembo. Uh, puck went out, battle in corner by uh, Justin Barron. Devils control the puck. Rip up and shut the net. Uh, muscle right there. The puck to Urshar. Change the direction. Urshar. Fire! 
and Montebo make a say battle right now. Jake Evan lose the puck and now the Devils controlling right there. And the puck, Listerinen look like he's hurt for the for the Panthers. The puck in the corner right now. Battle with Edmondson. Uh, Hoffman forget the puck. Finally find a way to get a puck. And he go to reset back to uh, Byron, I believe. Back to changing right now for the new players for the Montreal Canadiens to set up the breakout. With about four minutes remaining on the... Uh, the third period, the shot of 29-28 uh, advantage of the Wolves and where we are at right now. The puck go back to Emerson, don't pin the puck right now. Uh, deep zone by uh, Kevin Barr. The cold down there for the Devils. Intercept the puck, bring the puck to the side. Tatao's coming right now. They are coming right there. Two versus one. That's Tatao. McLeod shoot the puck. Mental will make a save. No rebound. That's what we have at that moment. The third shot of, this, of the game for the, the Devils. It was uh, McLeod, not Tatao. Go Devils, go. And they cut up. And yeah, I do renew to you, Kelly. Anthony, welcome back, uh, Anthony. Thanks for us. Uh, uh, Wild 3, Avalanche 2, Ryan. Surprisingly, yes, Roman, 22 years old. Uh, one the shot, please don't forget to click on the like. There'll be some. The face of René par, par, de, par de Montreal. Roman F passed the puck to Bayron. Bayron passed the puck to right side to Savard. Savard dumping the puck behind the net. Uh, chasing him now. Intercept the goaltender. They will bring the puck to the side. The Devils try to get the puck. It's on by McLeod. Now keep zone on Montreal. Try to get the puck. Keep the zone. Finally, the puck outside to Roman F on the neutral zone. Roman F passed the puck to Bayron. And finally, dumping the puck all the way. Chasing him now. Pas de Warrack. And René Parren Graves all the way back to the blue line. Finally, the puck outside zone. Roman F Chase the puck in front of the Devils. Turn around, pass the puck all the way on the far side to Bal Biron. New players coming from Montreal. Canadian Biron is coming to the bench and they go deep deep. Uh, for the Montreal, Savard have the puck. Rin the puck all the way back on the zone. Everybody churn the players with three minutes remaining. Romanov, long stretch pass to Savard. Nothing happened. Back again for D to D. And they go all the way back over there. Pass to Romanov. Savard go to the bench. Intercept by Jack Hughes. The battle ran out by Romanov. Lose the edge. The puck go all the way behind the net. Ezuski control the puck right now. Prepare for the breakout. Drive the puck back to Emerson. Emerson control the puck right now. Scanning with the puck. Emerson to the blue line. Keep the puck for himself. Control the double red line. Don't pin the puck all the way back. Intercept the goaltender by Da. Drop the puck in the corner to D. And now the Devils get out of the zone. They're going to go all the way far side to Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes to the blue line. Jack Hughes control the puck. Jack Hughes coming now. Fire! Matebo make a save with the glove. Welcome by the Montreal Canadiens. Joanne Minson set up the puck right there. Set up the puck right there. By left, by right there. Intercept by Justin Barron. Intercept right there. Barron throw control the puck. Intercept by the Devils. By play by the Devils coming now. Back again. We have a... All the way back on the other side, D2D D by the Devils, don't pin the puck right there. Two minutes remaining, Montreal struggle right now. They go behind the net, Jack Hughes looking in front of the net, right in front of the net, uh, checking by Pit Lake right there. And the puck go in the corner, battle for the gut. And finally, Emerson control the puck, is going to get there with 156 to go. Remaining on the third period. Pit Lake one more time, maybe the last time. And Montebo going to go to the bench after they set up their breakout. Hoffman's uh, coming out on the zone, dumping the puck right away. Stopped by Ryan Graves to get the puck outside the zone. And finally, on the neutral zone, and all the way back on the defensive zone. Montreal still cannot bring the six attacking. Uh, players on the ice because Montebo stuck right there because Montreal cannot go in the offensive zone. Jake Evans, don't be back out, recover the defenseman by the Devils. On the puck right there to the blue line. Intercept right now by the Montreal Canadiens and they go all the way back deep zone and the Devils recover with 120 seconds to go at the third period. By the Devils, lobby the puck right there. Cont Controlling right now by the Montreal. Don't pay the puck again. Intercept by the Devils right there. Cont shoot the puck to the board and uh, deep uh, uh, the puck all the way back behind the net. And Montebo still stuck behind the net in the net right now by Zuzuki drop the puck right there no, can, can they bring the puck Montembo would they just play six versus five versus five again don't put the puck shun him in try to get the puck his own rave uh, get the go did the did they will love the puck all the way back over there the puck will slowly miss the net over there and possibly we have an icing with 48 seconds to go that's what finally we got there but for finally the Montreal find a way to get an icing and to go all the way on the defensive, on the offensive zone with a Montembeau on the bench. I'm sure you have a timeout. And the Montreal Canadiens try to find a way to tie the game. Higher.
Welcome back, Mr. Renault. Welcome also, Patrick Fenn, Ian O'Brien, Alan Barnes. Welcome back. Uh, thanks for us, Anthony, Patrick Fenn also. Uh, Winnipeg is terrible right now. Taylor up uh, uh, faster. Luc Lafarsen win the face off. Uh, uh, two to come on. Uh, we'll see how happening at that moment. We have to wait uh, uh, at, and see the play. And it's going to be Devarak face to Nico Oshara at the right side of the goaltender of the Devils. Uh, Devarak will now win the face off. Back again to Whiteman. Whiteman skated by. Drive the bike to Nizuki. To cough in front of that. Devarak on the back door. Enemy! Lemmy! Lemmy! Ramp! Netflix, go! The most recognized you try the game! Are you kidding me? No! for Montreal Canadian. It's 2-2. Two, two. That's what I'm talking about. 36 seconds remaining at the second, at the third period for the end of the game. Maybe go and OT. But that's happening. The Montreal Canadian tie the game. 2-2. Two, two. Here we go. Devils control the pucks coming on the zone zone. Try to get by Jack Hughes. Control the back in front of Jake Evans. Jake Evans hit Hughes. Palo ran out by Sharikovic. Draw the puck to Hughes. Hughes and Brunner with Jake Evans. The puck with uh, Sharikovic went out. Battle in the corner. The puck stayed there in the corner with 16 seconds remaining. Hughes joined the party with Edmondson. The puck go in the corner again. The puck go nowhere. The Montreal Canadiens lob the puck outside the zone. It's going to be the end of the, set of the third period. That will be the other way over there. And we are going to overtime. Montreal always find a way to come back. That's amazing what Martin Saint Louis does with this team. The Montreal never give up. They never drop their, their arm down. They find a way to come back all the time. I love that kind of perseverance that they have. Send they are with Martin Saint Louis. And that's where we are at that moment. And new subscriber, Igor Aldana. Aldanov. Welcome aboard. Thanks to join us. And we're going to set up right now the overtime. And we're going to get there about that one over there. And that's what we have. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like. That'd be awesome. On se n'abandonne jamais, mon Simon Deschamps. That's que j'aime de voir. Mon RG said 31, 32, the shot. Thank you so much, RG, about that one over there. Uh, that gave me update for sure. And uh, that's what we have Savar uh, with the game winner, Adam Berger. Tu penses ceux qui vont gagner les Canadiens? Et then, uh, on va voir que ça va être. Bonsoir, Damien. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and we'll go from there. We will have a TV timeout, so we have to wait uh, right there at that moment. Yes, Taylor. Who's going to score? Metamor, then in the house. Don't forget to click on the likes. Ego, welcome aboard. We have a new subscriber. Welcome back in the house for the first time, Igor Aldadov. Here we go, Igor. Reverse, Igor Aldadov. Subscriber. Don't forget to click on the likes. That'd be awesome. That would be great. Uh, about that one over there, and well, not that one over there. Try to get this one. Apologize. 
Here we go. Overtime. The Blue Blue Rouge. Fire. Fire. The Montreal Canadiens win the first throw right there. They're coming right there all the way back on the defensive zone. They control the puck right now. It's coming in the zone. And it goes all the way and intercept right now by Caulfield. Caulfield back to all the way back to Suzuki. And it dropped back by Justin Barron. 20, 22 at 21 years old on the ice. Suzuki dropped the puck right now. It's coming to the left side. Suzuki in front of that. Lose the puck right there. Try to get a puck. And finally, the Devils find a puck. Now, Suzuki steal the puck. Suzuki change the direction. Bad play. And now they are coming all the way back. Uh, then Carfield cannot get it. The Devils try to get a puck outside the zone. Finally, go back to Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes coming out to the blue line, to the red line. Jack Hughes control the puck right there. Keep the puck right there. Montreal will set up the puck. Suzuki will cover the puck behind the net. They're going to reset about a little bit, four minutes to go remaining on the OT, Justin Barron with a puck behind the net, waiting right now in front of Justin Brett. Drive the puck left side right there, came to Berlin, Pitlick. Pitlick passed the puck to the middle. Now it's getting Montreal, Canadian, Chen this direction. Mike Hoffman, I believe. Hoffman, Chen the rock over there. Back to the left corner right there to Shunneman. Shunneman, stay in the zone, finally get out of the zone. And that's what we had at that moment, all the way on the territory for the Montreal, Canadian, Shunneman in front of the uh, Jasper Brett, I believe. Shunneman, skate with the puck right now. Don't you can find a way to Hoffman. Hoffman to the blue line. Now, Kiripa to Shunneman. Intercept by the, for the Devils. They are coming back. Sharikovic on the ice with Justin Brett. Now, they turn around. They are coming deep zone. They're going to reset right there with 3.29 to go. Brett brings the puck to Sharikovic. Now, Sharikovic to the red line. It's coming to the blue line. Now, attacking right now. Sharikovic looking in the back door. They intercept by the Devils. Seven in the direction right there. Intercept right now. Chasing by Jack Hughes. Kid control the puck. Can change the direction right there. Kind of run in front of Alfman. That boat. 86, 88, 86 on the ice for the Devils of Montreal. Jeremy intercept on the Montreal Canadian right now. They control the puck to the red line. They are going out by Mike Hoffman. Hoffman winning for the new plus coming on the ice. Uh, and they go right there. Hoffman keep the puck right there. And we have an outside by Bob Biron. We're going to reserve with 2.58 to go. Mike Hoffman was tired anyway. Better to make Mike Hoffman on the ice, uh, on, the, on the bench. Uh, don't forget to click on the lights and then go. There we go. Let's do it. Come on, Montreal! Face off winning by the Devils. Now we go back all the way back to the left side. They are coming to the left side and a battle in front of Montembo. Chase with Paramanov. Great play by Montembo. By uh, Paramanov. My breath's coming. Fire! He hit the pose! He hit the pose for the Devils. The puck goes outside the zone. It just went out by the. The, the Devils coming out to the left side. Turn around right there. Still by the Montreal Canadiens. Great play by Whiteman to steal the puck. The puck goes uh, by Zuzuki right now. Zuzuki control the puck. Keep the puck for himself to the red line. He controls to the blue line. Keep the puck for himself. Waiting for new players. Zuzuki go around the net. All the way back in front of Doug Hamilton. Drop the, keep the puck all the way back on the zone. And the Mountain Bow, he goes to have new, new player for the Montreal with about two minutes to go. The puck go back to Barron. Barron drop the puck right there to Anderson. Anderson change the direction. Anderson skating with puck. Drop the puck behind the net. Behind to the next player for the Montreal Canadiens. And Jake Evan change the, again, the direction right there. Evan get out of the zone. He goes to reset on the defensive zone and waiting for new players coming. Chase it by Doug Hamilton. Evans keep the control to the red line. Evan to the blue line. Evans right now. Try to get around. Even control the puck. Still by Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes. Back to Doug Hamilton with less of two minutes to go. Hamilton's coming to the blue line. He's coming in with the puck to the red line. He keep control the puck. Go to now on the offensive zone. Kick out the puck to the left side. They will control the puck right now on the defensive zone. Turn around by the Montreal Canadiens. Now at three versus two. Henderson's coming to the red line. Do the blue line. Waiting right now. Kick out the puck to the left side. Fire! Hey, stop by the goaltender. Puck go behind the net. We have a whistle because the helmet of the goaltender does get out of the hell the head. And we have a whistle at that moment. That's what we at right now. Here we go. Let's go finish strong this game right now. Montreal, less of one minute, 27 seconds remaining. A crossbar or a pose by Jack Hughes, I believe. The crossbar straight right there. 
And the Montebu can do anything about that one. The Toronto win the game again. The Panthers surprise. They were wrecked on the ice with Ren Pitlick. Urshar loves the puck. Goes back as on. Chasing right now. The puck goes all the way back to Montembo. Montembo with the puck. Pass the puck all the way back to Devarak. Devarak right now. Control the puck. Right now is coming. Maybe Pitlick. They go all the way to the blue line. Get the puck for Pitlick. Pitlick to the blue line now on the offensive zone. Pitlick's coming. Turn around in front of the net. Shulman take the puck. The recovery to Devil. Devil at three versus one. Devil at two versus one. It's right now. Just press coming. Turn around. Fire! He make a save. Rebound. Oh, make the defense. Devil make a big save. Just one minute to go. Devils don't beat the puck all the way back uh, behind the net. No, Montrose coming. How big? Fire! He did No! You be Yes! What's going on? We have a goal! We have the goal! Do we have a goal? Do we have the goal? What's going on? Is it the goal? What's going on? Let me know. Come on! We have to call Toronto. Everybody's looking. Everybody wants to know. We have to call Toronto. <phone rings> we have a goal. No goal. I don't think so. No goal. Wow. Both poles. Look off, man. Why you don't tip the puck? No goal. Why off, man? He did not play the rebound. Unbelievable. Look off, man. He shoot the puck. Look again. He shoot the puck. And he, look, he turn around. He does, look, he could tip the puck in the net. Offman, one on one hockey. We teach you 10. Drive to the net, drive to the net, drive to the net. He curl. Wow. 50 second remaining, I believe. The puck winning part of the mantra. They were uh, Zuski. Now controlled by now by Baron. Baron back to Devarak. To Zuski. Zuski right now. The Devil's coming. Nick Ashar. Ashar's coming on break away the left side. He's going to shoot the puck. He hit the pose. The Montreal coming back right now. The side. Justin Barry's coming. Baron lose the puck right now by Ashar. Down the puck right there. The Devil's turn and come back again. A two versus two. Ashar right there. He Look at back at the back door. Fire over the helmet of Montembeau. The puck turned around by the Montreal Canadian. Baron pass the puck right now to Devarak. It's coming a 2-1 right there on the back door to Suzuki with 17 seconds to go. Suzuki looking right now. Draw the puck all the way back to Baron. Baron is dead. Devarak is dead. And they go all the way back on defensive zone. The Montreal Canadian is going to go on shootout at that moment. That's what happening about that. Caulfield, one more time. No chance right there. We're going to shoot out. Let's see the barrage. Don't forget to click on the right. Wow, the post after the post. Look, but pourquoi? Pourquoi? Why Mike Hoffman did not play the puck? Why did not drive to the puck? He just gave up to the play. On it, on the barrage. Good night. Good night. Not Good yet. Night. Good night. C'est le barrage. We have to wait until we are back. Uh, get, hit the likes. Uh, don't forget to click on the like. That'd be awesome. Can I Montreal Canadian uh, find a way? Fire. Fire. Christopher Ronaldo, Igor, welcome back, Peter. Don't forget uh, Samuel. Uh, thank you. Uh, Samuel and uh, Nicolas, this language can be used in the chat. Uh, parfait, mon Nicolas, bonne nuit. Can we see it from this up look, but the post make that interminable. Uh, uh, fire, fire, fire. Can we start a GoFundMe to get coach or some tickets? Uh, 
about that. Uh, Patrick, uh, let's go find a park right there. We have to wait uh, to face off right there. Uh, we have to, the month is going to be the first shot. The number 90, Thomas Tata. Thomas Tata waiting for the whistle right there. Uh, I'm behind you guys, so I'm going to be late on the goal and the save. I apologize. Tata, I'll pick up the puck. Go to the blue line. At the red line. Go to the blue line now. Skating, looking right now. Shoot the puck. Hey, the save. Samuel Montembeau making first save. Tata did not know what to do at the end. Tata can score. Now the Montreal Canadian. Uh, the puck is going to be right. Tata looking, stick and gling. Look again. The, the legs up and Montembeau move. It looked like... Uh, uh, everything on that now is a uh, call Caulfield pick up the box the red lines coming all the way back at the right side He's coming now sick and gling looking right now fire in the ball in the ball Call Caulfield It's 3-2 Call Caulfield in the 5 hole. And right now the Montreal take the lead 1-0 after the first Adams. Uh, the New Jersey Devils coming now. It's the uh, number 63. Jasper Bratta. Can Montembeau save? The puck go at the red line. Do the blue line. Jasper Bratt's coming. Second game. Looking, looking. Fire! He score! <laughs> Jasper Bratta. Uh, tied the game 1-1. Montembeau did not stop that puck over there. And the Montembeau. And the people said... Ren Pitlick, uh, Ren Pitlick's coming right now. Wait for the whistle. Pick up the puck to the red line. Skating slowly. He's going to the right side right now. Keep straight line now. Pitlick looking. Second again. Fire! He score! He hit the post. He score. Here's the goal. Here's the goal. Here's the goal. Can we have something upon that? We are the third. If Samuel Montembeau make a save, the game is over. Pitlick score on the fake it left and right on the forehands and Pitlick give the lead. One more time to go. The assistant captain, the young man, scored two goals tonight. I'm talking about Jack Hughes. Can Montembeau make a save about that one over there? Can Montembeau make something special tonight? Can the Montreal get the W tonight for the second game and two nights? Hey, you set up. He's coming with speed. He's looking right now. He fire. He score. Montembo, Montembo, quiet, quiet. Here we go. Third shot. Can we see Nexuski? He lose the puck. Montembo go loud, low. He opened the door. My God, Montembo. Drop again on his knee. Nick Zuzuki, the captain. Not the captain, but the player for the Montreal Canadiens with most points this season with 49 points and 19 goal or 18 goal. Nixki waiting for the whistle right now. Everybody waiting right now. Nixki pick up the puck right now. Waiting for the whistle. What's going on right now? Come on, ref. Nixki pick up the puck. I cannot look right here because you guys are in front of me. I want to see what's happening. Nixki pick up the puck. Hey, here we go. Nixki at the red lines. Go to the left side of the Nick. Adas coming to the middle. Nixki fire. No. Here we go. Round number four. Here we go for the Devils. The number 28, Drew Sevenson. Can Montebo make a big save right now? That's what we need. Sevenson's coming. Fire! And no, 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 no. Montebo made it again. He saved it. He saved it. He saved it. He saved it. Can we score? Who's coming? Who's the next? Come on. Let's go. Number 28, Christian Devorak. He's coming. Pick up the puck to the blue line now. He's coming to the left side. Fire! Oh, he make a save. <laughs> Great save by the goaltender, Nico Da with the glove. Uh, he should go backwards and drop in over there. Wow. Captain number five, the captain number 13, Nico Hershire. Pick up the puck to red lines, coming to the right side. Change his direction. Come to the middle right now, looking right now. Six, fire! Montembo make a big save with the blocker! Montembo, blocker shot over there! Here we go, Montreal Canadian. Who is the next one the Montreal Canadian? And Montembo makes save right there. Great save by Samuel Montembo. Round number five, number 40, Joel Armia. 
Joel Amia. Wow. Joel Amia. He pick up the puck to the red line. A Finland. Pick up the puck. Go straight right now. Looking. Sick and gling. He fired. Hit the pose. He hit the pose. Round number six, uh, then number seven, Doug Hamilton, check the slap shot, check the rockets coming. He pick up the puck, go to the right side, it's a miss, coming to the middle. He's fire! In a goal. <laughs> and the five hole. Oh, check that one, I see he was going to shooting. Look at that. Montembo. Here we go. Mike Hoffman, number seven shot of the night. Uh, Mike Hoffman, pick up the puck. Go to the right side of Nico. He's coming to the middle. One more shot from the motor. He's coming. Fire! He scores! <laughs> Anything we tie the game! Mike Hoffman, tie the game! We have five to five. One more. Adam, number six of the round. OMG, can we resist the veteran? Go, the veteran, 30 years old. Mike Hoffman, score. Here we go. Igor Sharakovich for the New Jersey Devils. Pick up the puck right now. Waiting for the pickup. Here we go. He gave the puck right now to the red lines. Coming completely on the right side of Samuel Montebo. Coming to the middle right now. Sickling bit. Looking. Fire! He score. How many goals he got? Four goals. He gave four goals, I believe, Montembo. Unbelievable. Here we go. Paul Biro, Cipolo, Cipolo pick up the puck to the right side. He's coming right there. He's looking. He's fired. And they say the Montreal Canadian lose an OT. And shoot out. And the Devils win by a score a 3 2 tonight against a Montreal Canadian. Montreal get a one point, but not good enough to get two tonight at the Prudential Ring at the New Jersey. And Nicolas Da make his friends uh, beat Samuel Montembeau tonight. And the Devils win by a score 3 2 against a Montreal Canadian on a shootout. Uh, congratulations for the Devils. Uh, good, not good enough for the Montreal. We appreciate each one of you to be part of the show tonight. Don't forget before you leave the door, click on the likes. That'd be awesome. That's the only thing we ask of you. That'd be great. Uh, again, Montreal come back uh, join the third period to tie the game 2-2 uh, 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 with a goal at the last minute of the game. Ren Pitlick uh, score for the Montreal Canadian, and then uh, that's what happening at that moment. That's the end of the game at a score of 3-2 uh, for the Devils. So we're going to have uh, Mr. Uh, Andrew in the chat. Uh, you late coach uh, the last uh, not uh, yet exactly what was that was was that uh, bad move. Monty also cannot last that shootout. Uh, Good game, Salah. Well called, coach. Keep it entertaining. Thank you so much, Salah. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, Montreal will uh, win uh, this week. Uh, the goalie has more old can switch <laughs> random. <laughs> It was a good try over there. We're going to bring Mr. Andrew Lepage in the house. Uh, um, take it, uh, Mr. Andrew. Talk about what you think about this game uh, tonight. Well, again, you know, they had their opportunities. They, they pushed it to overtime. So, you know, they're always in it. So that's a good thing. And uh, evidently, St. Louis showed a lot of confidence in Barron, you know, by putting him out in the overtime. But... Uh, Unfortunately, Montembeau seems to be, I've noticed that with the shootouts, the longer the shootout goes on, he starts to come apart. Find I'm sure right game. about that one over there, uh, Andrew. Look, for me, um, I like the fact they never give up. They find a way to come back. Uh, they, is, uh, they have a good period, I think so. Uh, yeah. They have an opportunities, and uh, that's who they are. That's how they become, and they fight. They can play with any team right now in NHL. Uh, we prefer to have a great result, three points, and uh, two games against Toronto with the Wolves. That's pretty much over. More what we expect, honestly. Exactly. Uh, but uh, again, they have so close to get that, you know, because they have a really difficult trip right now. Um, yeah. Tampa Bay, uh, Florida, uh, Carolina, and Tampa Bay. But that'd be great for them to get a that W tonight. But they're going to get their, their head up at the door because, uh, you know what, we play solid. 
And uh, we have to be proud of what's happening uh, for them about that one over there. Uh, thank exactly. you so much for everybody. We have a couple of um, a couple of likes. Uh, thank you, Danny, for the one of the fifty likes. Uh, we we'll get there a little bit later. Pitlick played the most minute reserve for the Montreal Canadiens. Next time, yeah, and going. me, I will play Montreal Canadiens. Why was the OT goal uh, wave off? Uh, uh, Puccini was post to post. Uh, Mike, uh, I don't know, Andrew, you want to talk about this? Oh yeah, it was definitely post to post, and I'm kind of shocked that Hoffman did. He had the opportunity to tap the re rebound in. And he just skated right by it. That's the sad part of it. He had an opportunity there. That's what I said. And that's why, yeah, stay with the play, right? And it would have been very the, We sure. teach the kid at nine years old. Drive, yeah. to the, drive to the post. We do drill. We drill them. You should apart, go hit the post after that. Do never exactly. turn and find the net. Never turn. You're going to be pinched. All right? That's right. Professional, that's right. 32 years old, a veteran, 15 years in initial. He turned. He put his stick on the... He just had to push back the, the puck. And he turned his head up the smoke there. He go home. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. It was that simple. It was that simple. They could have had the victory. I'm sure he'll, he'll hear about it, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you. You're very fun. It's like likes, uh, Mr. Merci tout le monde. Merci, Mr. Bruno. Meta Versa. Thank you, everybody, for the 150 likes. Uh, we really appreciate another great yeah, game for the, month, for the Hockey Nation Live show. Uh, why can a goalie shake their head twice to remove their mask and not get the their game penalty? Uh, it becomes well, yeah. um, a for safety Thank now, Roger, and for Andrew. The NHL, uh, they make a new kind of mask. And when you get a, a puck and the area for the mask, uh, they call it uh, like uh, just it just stop the play. That's it. It's happened a lot this season. Um, yeah. I think Mike Smith one time, three times, back to back to back, uh, just for precaution, for the safety, for the girl down there. Uh, it's for how they absorb the puck now and drew, and uh, then they snap right away uh, one of this. That's what we heard yeah. about that. It's for the concussion also. So... They don't want the goaltender when they get a puck in the mask, uh, on the mask. They play continuous. Now, they have a somehow, when they hit a, a, some kind of speed, the, the puck on the mask, one snap, get out quickly. Yeah. Then he's a 152. Montembeau out. Uh, they play Montreal pro, uh, pro school COVID-19. I don't know what is that. Uh, uh, coach, I still prefer to have the incentive to win by win a regular time, gave three point two point. One point about that one over there. Uh, uh, Fick X262 eliminate the series. Yeah, we was already uh, eliminate. On était déjà éliminé avant la partie. Donc, uh, it's just confirmed more we are out. Uh, I totally agree, Zeb, about that. Uh, bonne nuit, Harry. Thank you so much for that. Uh, il était à 523, mon clic vente, j'avais les mis mes yeux. Merci beaucoup, mon Bruno, pour le 150. Oui, dit merci beaucoup. Okay. Star said, OMG, good game for the Montreal Canadiens. Humble B, good game coach. Thank you so much, Humble. Night, Harry. Uh, Montreal, you got to win. Star, okay, bye. Okay, see you. All right, good night. Altman actually uh, thought he, he was in. Yeah, he thought it was in, but it, like you said, I mean, uh, you, we both coached and I played as well, and I'm, I'm not sure if you have, but I mean, you were always taught keep. Continue you don't take a play. chance. You just push back. That's right. Continue it's with the play. It happens sometimes when a puck go out and a guy in front of the net, you just push back the back and side right away. Uh, yeah, I can understand, sure. you know, I can understand what you think, but it's not acceptable. Yeah. That's my point behind it. No. It, again, it's no. not like an, it's not like a skill. It's awareness. That's right. The, the, the oh, mountain no, bull first, the play. Go, it's not about skill. It's awareness. Yeah. That's follow the, the right idea. So, yeah. Danny, that was okay. he pushed him to bro on the win and stand the playing. Uh, coach, please tell Andrew I said the leave one. I'm sure he knows about that, Kelly, about that one there. Andrew said uh, Kelly, uh, Toronto lose against Montreal last night 4 2. Uh, but that's another subject about that one of them. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> With that W for Toronto, that just tie up again the fourth division right there. Exactly. That, that Toronto back with, with Tampa Bay. They win again today. And uh, also Boston have to win again. This race is going to be all the way to the end. Yeah, that's what I said. Down to the last four, four or five games, we're not going to know much. 
<rire> euh, Zev, are you liberal? Marc, uh, welcome back. Marc Bougie. Thanks, coach. See you next time. I see uh, Zufiki. Uh, wow, we go. I screwed that one over there. Mitzi, I will be call you Zuk Kif Lee. Here we go. I got it. Uh, 05 on power play. Uh, Alan, exactly what we talked during the third period. That's yeah. one area Martin St. Louis does not do well. But he said many times, I don't focus on power play. I focus only on five versus five. Right. Right. But that's going to have to change in the off season. There's no doubt. Uh, about that. Uh, Rick Robitaille, thank you guys. The greatest team ever. 16W, 12 Jean Ding, 1976. Uh, Mac Bougie, stick, hockey, equip it. Uh, uh, Zeb, you should try to leave it on. Uh, Flan Nazar Romano, hello, je t'ai pour les Canadiens, mais le Biron est euh, mal pas joué. Oui, d'accord avec toi, Nazar, about that one over there. Uh, life for a okay, great Canadian or bad, the frozen biscuit. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Boo the Devils. Uh, Matt, please respect last warning. Uh, I've tried it before. Good. Uh, thanks. The frozen Canadian or bad. Uh, rate Baron on his game, please. Uh, rate his game. Mm. <laughs> that's that's hard. Uh, I, I, I think he just passes to, to me. Uh, he just gets a pass because he did show some nervous moments. And even in the overtime, I believe he was the one that sent them in on the breakaway in the overtime when he went down. So he had he had his nervous moments. He barely, he gets a pass, but that's about it. Uh, I would suggest average, nothing wrong, yeah. nothing bad. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. doesn't look, you know, like... Uh, Very bad inside that one. You can see yeah. a quali uh, one thing I, I like is the skating. Skating yeah. is good. Great you can see what about one over there. It's great to see. Great Look, uh, we start with a 20 years old, a 22 years old, and a 21 years old on the overtime. Yeah. That's your It next nice. prospect in, in itself. Exactly. So exactly. that's great. I know that, but I always said a C, but not like, you know, it's the first time. So, uh, Uh, it's a good C. It's not like negative my C, but I cannot give yeah. him a B or A. It's not make sense to me. No, uh, no. But I don't want to give him a D because he did not play badly overall. Yeah, uh, they protect him. Average. They protect him. They don't want to get faced around there. It's not easy yeah. on the road uh, when you do that, right? But um, give him a few C more is a games, good deal you know. for me. Yeah, it's passable, you know. Uh, GT Sport, merci coach pour le fleur. Je suis un fan des Coyotes et de la région qui aime maintenant les jeux, les vins quand je vous disais. Je disais qu'il m'a une application de traduction parce que je ne connais, connais pas. Pas de problème, GT Sport, merci encore une fois. Euh, je ne sais pas le pointage, c'est à 1 à 1 moment donné, GT. Je ne sais pas c'est quoi le final pointage. Can I play with the Philip Meyer? Please go, j'expect à Louis. Uh, just kidding, Danny. Uh, un point pour Loza, noté, already screwed, Danny, shall recall books. Uh, Monty, good game overall, Alan. Uh, I agree with you, Alan. Uh, we, we would like to delete or erase the, the, the goal he gave, Andrew. But uh, overall, yeah. I think he was pretty good. Yeah, he, was, he came back. At least he settled down, thankfully, right? But uh, yeah, yeah. He definitely settled down. Zevi said the same thing. He's getting better as they went along, but he did not see him a lot. Uh, I agree with that part over there. Rick mm -hmm. is Bunny Larak. Ali Ali, we get the one point pick of uh, first fall of Raul. Go leave, go. Bryce, uh, Jake, I wish the app could play the leave uh, for 82 game. And <laughs> Jake, about that, sir. About <laughs> that, that, that we get a uh, uh, Bryce, <laughs> yeah, he was called for the leave. Uh, Uh, I think Josh Demar John Demarais was the best player for the league tonight with two goals, uh, Danny. It's past someone's bedtime. Uh, can someone explain me Martin St. Louis' obsession with Joel Amiens and shootout? Uh, well, he, he does have a good shot, to, to be honest. I mean, he just rung it off the post. There's no doubt. When he's clean out on his own, one-on-one, -on -one, normally he'll come through. But, uh, you know, he gets, uh, again... Unlucky by hitting the post. What can you do? He's got a great shot. Zev said, Baron, please, 1755. Yes, uh, uh, again, Zev, I agree with you about that one. They did. And we pick Ab because they lost. Um, no, I picked uh, New Jersey. Me too. <laughs> yeah. It was because of the back to back game. Yeah. Well, I picked, uh, I picked both games so <laughs> yeah. against them. 
Yeah. Uh, the schedule update for Tuesday. Uh, Amir was 25% shootout, Zev, like I've said, uh, about that one over there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Guy Lafleur, the Flores, uh, what are your expectations for the rest of the week, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday? Oh, my word. That's, I don't have very good expectations, not, not for the, the, that, that uh, Florida trip at all. I think we're going to be, uh, we're going to take quite a beating on that trip. Although, you know, the great thing is, again, I mean, we've, we've dealt with Florida once now and, you know, it was only a one goal difference. If we can come in with that mindset, unfortunately, I just think watching Florida, they seem to be just gelling more and more and more. Right. So, uh, it's going to, it's going to be interesting. I don't expect any wins. It's amazing. The Jet, the Winpeg win and OT 10 seconds. They don't give up wow. yet. They don't give up. Wow. The Vegas win uh, again yesterday. Back They back up with 3-0. They come back. Those team does not want to give up about that. Vancouver beat them. <laughs> It's crazy to see that. There. The lower four, yeah, in the West are going to fight it out like the top four in the East. You know, it's going to be a fight right to the last four or five games, I think. Uh, I want to add what Zef said. Coach, the game was good, and I like it better without Petri out of the lineup. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, he, he tends to give up a few errors, no doubt about it, but he does, uh, you, you can't knock him. He does have some skill set, you know what I'm saying, as a veteran. But, uh, yes, at least we didn't have to uh, have the normal mistake, at least one mistake a game for sure, <laughs> you know. For me, I always said we didn't miss him. Yeah, I don't miss him. I don't miss him. I honestly, but it was not, oh, my God, we, we, we suffer. The only thing happening right. yesterday, whatever we win, is because it's a big difference when you have a right defenseman versus a left defenseman have to be on the, because you see Romanov struggle yesterday. You see Emerson Fair. struggle. Everybody on the LD play on that side. The only yeah. one was good in my book, it was Kulak. Yep. Yeah. So they can, right. so you can see with Baron what he did. He fixed that side today, and that gave Ram yeah. enough play a silly game. The Emerson a silly game on the left side. Shunnyman was not bad. Shunnyman played good uh, today. Uh, yes, he compared did. Was the two game prior he was yesterday? Solid. Um, he was and solid. Baron, like you said, uh, we cannot. Uh, we not said nothing negative against him. It was no. good for the no. first game. I'm okay with that. Play 17, he played good. But I cannot say, oh wow, this kid. But I can see great skater. He's not small. Oh, yeah. Why well, he's good to learn about a little bit more the cap control and uh, learning the, the time management, the time of the puck, the puck management, and controlling what he need to do, what he cannot do. Um, but again, it would take two, three years. But again, hey, listen, we have Ram and Afro now. The, the question poll of the night uh, on my uh, YouTube channel, I would say, which prospect Montreal defenseman is going to be the best for you the next five years? And um, that will be the question for tonight. So uh, I just want to mention about this. Uh, right. Uh, Further is going to agree because it has uh, Danny said Price, we need to beat the Boston Browns on that big game for us. I think Boston play uh, Toronto Tuesday night. Uh, Ooh, that'll be, be a good really game. interesting. Uh, that'll be a good game. About that, yeah. uh, they don't that'll care. Adam, I just, uh, you talk about the Florida, I believe. Uh, Knicks uh, need a new power play coach next season. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Our power play is just horrific. It's uh, it's even worse uh, since Muller's not there, to tell you the truth. I'll be you honest know, with you. I, I was hard on Whiteman, right? Yeah. But we have to give yeah. credit. You still have 19 pass this year. Exactly. But it's exactly. not good enough for, for control yeah. this. And again, it's not only the quarterback anymore. I really believe we don't use the player the right one, right? Yeah. And we don't do the yeah. right play on it sometimes. I still believe Devarek should be there, right? With Zuzuki, Caulfield, right there uh, with uh, a quarterback. But you have a, a, yeah. a super elite defenseman, a uh, Chris Letang, a uh, John Carlson, a uh, Quinn Hughes, a uh, McCarr, and I can go all the way. But we don't yeah. have those kind of players. We don't have a quarterback he can control the power play. And that's making friends right there. The Aaron Eggblad, 
everything and that's what we're missing right now for the power play big time um, big time you know we can point uh, Alex Burrows but and again no, I don't we, know we don't I'm right it. around well, here many teams play a power play with the same players for 90 seconds most of the time and Montreal yeah. they give up right away 60 seconds they go they, they try to sharing too much the time on the power play and I exactly. think that's not right yeah I agree uh, about that one over there. Uh, Zap Andrew Petri has a few uh, brain uh, game. I wonder how many he does. Real uh, okay, all right. So I'm gonna. Uh, it's not. Uh, do the leave have any chance in round one, Peter? No, they're they're not gonna. I, I highly doubt. Like I said, we've been saying this for a while, uh, especially seeing the uh, trade deadline as well and their performances. They're not gonna win in the first round. It's funny because they can play with Montreal, but they can play with the Panthers. They play with the best team they can beat. They beat Carolina, right? They beat the Panthers. Yeah. Uh, they can beat with a competition. I yeah. don't know that they way. Have a I don't know they what change on the playoff, but... Uh, the playoffs, they seem to have a real hard time with uh, with uh, Boston and Tampa. But so. what happening at the playoff, it, the, the ice shrimp, right? It is yes. red. Right, so because you have no time management, the cap control is physical. Uh, you you cannot oh, control yeah. skating with a puck all the time, and that's those kind of skill may be limited. About that one over there, and that's what we'll you're seeing how they can carry on this. Uh, Look at Foster said, "How many have played twenty four minutes tonight? Twenty seven oh, last night, twenty four yesterday." He's been fantastic. He's been fantastic. He's he's standing out as our top guy back there, no doubt. He's really standing out. Peter, you're right. It's uh, Alex Burroughs from the job over there. Me and Danny being sick all day. Uh, Danny, who do you think the league play first round? Uh, nobody knows until the end of the season. Bryce right That's now. That's hard, Danny. Um, right. That's hard to answer. <laughs> Peter said, it's not a matter. Uh, they're going to wait to play golf. <laughs> uh, without Whiteman, there are no power play allowed, Coach. Uh, he is simply the best mantra ever at that spot. I agree with him. I think he does, but I, I again, uh, yeah, I know he he shows signs, but I I would try the kids out right now. You've got nothing to lose. Let's see what they can do and bear on. He he definitely has that kind of skill set, you know, in his his uh, junior hockey. So give him a chance because I think that's what you're going to see that Baron succeed at. To tell you the truth, Keto said Hurricane versus Capitals. Oh, well, Hurricanes will destroy the Capitals. You expect that one at, at Washington? When's this? Uh, for the for the playoff, you mean? No, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, I still pick I still pick the Hurricanes. Yeah, yeah, five game tomorrow, but it's not like a big game or that that game uh, tomorrow. I will go with Carolina tomorrow. Uh, Power yeah. play 32 and NHL now, Alan. Uh, they've been there all oh, yeah. year long, Adam. Alan, it's, it's uh, 30, brutal, 31, brutal. 32, yep. I think the leave have a chance at the cup, uh, Bryce. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. No. Uh, Bryce, I, you know, a as, a, as a fans like Montreal, <laughs> and we hope and we, we understand, I hope you hope to your team, but I can, I don't see how they can win the Stanley Cup right now. Yeah, there would have to be a lot of injuries to the team's knees. It, it's so just the team has to go through. It's so good. And that's right. And the way they play it's right not. now, I don't see that. What yeah. about you beat and Florida today? Right? Florida yeah, did yeah. not play with Aaron Eggblad tonight. Right? Yeah. And um, I don't see that. But I hope they can win the cup. I wish the best for them. And uh, how mad. Uh, I'm not sure, Roger, what you mean by this. Do you understand what you said? How mad? I think How so. Mad. I don't know. Bonne nuit, Monica. Not sure what you mean. Uh, and Bryce Peter said, Bryce, I'm not sure if they will add, depend if they really want to go forward. Uh, Liv, we have to add those younger uh, with Blair coming up for guys seeing already. Welcome, Mr. Jose Duarte. Welcome, Jose. Okay, Coach Andrew, see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Alan Vianco. By the way, Mr. Uh, Andrew, I know that many of you guys in the chat does a prediction every day, you know, Monday to Thursday, Friday. 
Run with yeah. Kings went 12 and 0 yesterday. Wow. Nice. Never happened in Good Hockey Nation Live show. I calculate Good everything, job. right? And he's the first one after nine get a 12-0. That's really good because these games are so hard to predict in the season the way they're playing right now. A lot of upsets. Oh, great question for you here. Can Ren Pitt Lake score 25 goals next year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think he can. I definitely think he can. Um, <laughs> it's, it's demanding. And I learned it's this year... Uh, and mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot my prediction, my mother. I put all the prediction for H Blur this year. I'm so yeah. off. Like, like, I think I said 28 goals for Carfield, and I have a six scorer with 20 goals and everything like that. I would say to you, Roger, 18 goal to 22 goal would be my my um, my prediction. Now I don't say he cannot do 25. I just said I would be more logic for me to see 18 to 22 goal. Yeah, it's going to depend on how they line up to how the lines are set next year for sure. There's no doubt which which line he's put on, but I, I think it's possible he could do so because he's got the he's got the capability. It's just going to be who's his line mates. I'll ask you: Do you think uh, Baron would be in the power play lineup? I think eventually he will. Yeah, now, yeah. Well, yeah, it's not immediately. But I think he will work his way there, and he's gonna. I think he's going to be quite a weapon in the future. Yeah, a great weapon. Oh yeah, he 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 moves in nicely. He moves nicely Glide. backwards. He should have park. A great vision. Uh, yeah. Listen, <laughs> he'll he'll be the guy. He'll be one of the guys for sure. When you have Justin Barron on the power play and you have Lucan Mayo on the power play on the top circle yeah. left side, you're going to see a rocket. Shea Weber. You're going to see that with Lucan Mayo also. Exactly. Take time. Andrew, watching the way Montreal has been placed since Martin took over, remind me of the speed last year that gave Vegas fit, uh, Adam said. They come back strong uh, about that. Yeah, Adam, great comment. Just two Coyotes, one uh, final Ryan. They wow. still survive right there. Wow. <laughs> That's going to be something. That's going to be quite the finish. <laughs> yeah. The wild beat wow. Avalanche. Are you surprised about that? Yeah, uh, well, you know what? I am and I'm not because, like I say, I do consider the Wild a, a half decent team. So they're they're to me they're that dark horse team. So they're gonna they're gonna beat the something happened uh, at the end of the game where McKinnon took a penalty and they scored that one over there. I didn't see the play, wow. but I heard that one. He's been losing his head a little bit lately. So, so that's I don't know what happened there, but uh, I'm wrong on this and not I'm win it on that one. Uh, how yeah. to make prediction yeah, for too. next year for Montreal? Don't even know who it would be there. Yeah, I agree well, with you about that one. Right. Look, great comments about that. Yeah. Uh, Penguin 11, Red Wings 2. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. You don't expect that, you know? But they're young. Like I said earlier, they're young. The mistakes are going to be made. Don't, don't kid yourself. We may have a few games like that next year ourselves. Right? Yeah. That's why someone asked, do you think they make the playoff? I don't know. I, do we have Carey Price? Do we have Jake Allen? Do we have Hoffman? No, do we have a, we're not making, it's too early to go that way. Yeah, we're not making the playoffs. I don't think we're going to be that to that level. And I we think, don't know who the other team has anyway. Right. But I think you, where you see Detroit right now will be right behind them. That's but again, where I, see Montreal next year. I, I will give you two players right now. We have Carey Price right now, right? Yeah. Now I had Chris Letang and Vincent Tracek. Can you make the playoff? Oh yes, that could, if, if if they play like this, yeah, they could. Does it make they sense? Could. So that's yeah. my that's what I said. We never yeah. know what they're going to look about that one there. Um, they could be interesting about that, but uh, yeah, Seattle Kraken are up next few years. Uh, Elijah Owens, uh, thanks for joining us, Mister Elijah. Uh, you know, they're going to draft again a very really good pick. They pick Matthew Bernier's. They can possibly get Shane Wright this year. Yep. Uh, they, they can, they give a lot of, they have a lot of pick, draft pick right now. Um, yeah. Patient is good. there for Seattle Kraken. Yeah. It's going to take a little longer, that's all. Uh, just need to think positive. Uh, Bryce, yeah. I hope they shock us. Uh, wow. 
Congregation Run Kings in the house. Uh, Congregation Run Kings, 12 is zero okay. yesterday. You become the nice first job. one to accomplish this. Uh, what a job, my friend. Very good. How, Excellent. Come on, was Rem Pitlick on the waiver? He is a rookie. Oh, he's. Uh, they didn't. They didn't plan on him getting picked up. They really were thinking they could slide him through. They really didn't want to see him go. So I think we just got lucky. What happened is this part is Minnesota have too many men, too many players, yeah. and they cannot. Yeah. They don't want to lose a dream every time that. So they took a chance with Pit Lick. They can slip, yeah. and that's it. And. That's uh, what That's happening after that one of them because they want to bring Matthew Boldy in the lineup and Marco Ruzzi also. Right. Yeah. So uh, they We have a choice to him or Zoraim, and they decide to go with Zoraim and Goudreau versus Ren Pitlick. Yeah. Yeah. And, they, they, you know, they've got good young prospects. There's no doubt about it. You know, who knows how it, we might have picked up any one of them that they've They put out there. Nicholas comes in. I don't think Rem would score that many goals, but he had to have an offensive instinct. I agree with him. Uh, I think it, it's going to depend on the line mates. I really think that's And I'd be surprised. 18 goals and a 45 point for him. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Because remember, yeah. he's not going to be a top six. No. No. So no, he had to be top bottom goals. six, right, with some power play over there. And again... Uh, who knows who's going to be on the lineup next year? Maybe he's get now 18 minutes, and maybe now he has tonight 20 minutes, and maybe drop at 16, 15. So that's right. But okay, I would not be really surprised he ran that one. Uh, run, uh, uh, right there. Uh, well, as always, play Colorado top. It won more the lows against them. Uh, I've been leaving Colorado and uh, Andrew for six years. I may yeah. be been for about 20 games per season, 10 to 15. And the one thing Colorado always struggle. It was the color. It was the Minnesota. Yeah, and the, and it's not just them though. I mean, they better hope that Vegas doesn't get in because they have problems with Vegas too. Yeah, Lick said the rebuild is just starting, but the future look bright. Bright. Oh, that's how I see it. I'm I agree so with him pumped. about that one there. Yeah, I agree. Roger Bouchard said, "May you may need shoulder surgery due to his fight on the ice? Could he be a career affecting injury? No." No, I don't think it's career affecting, but it's you know it's a bummer that he has to be out for a bit, but he'll be all right. It's funny because Caden Cooley got hurt during the fight. Now it's looking Mayu, but expect the Mayu going to get those kind of uh, the confrontation because what he did in the past, and some people tried to get there, and he cannot yep. back off unfortunately. Exactly, uh, it's just exactly. that lucky bad luck over there. I think Raja was waiting for the second opinion to go on the surgery, and the Montreal want to do it right away and not wait. I gave him a four, six week uh, reputation, uh, rehabilitation, and then he will be ready for the upcoming season with the London Knights. Uh, it's not going to be with the Montreal, by the way. Uh, no, do the no, abs no, keep barren? I think you're going to see him go down to Laval myself. But I believe again, Baron will be there like, for one more year, and yeah. then after that, be gone. Oh, he's, going he's, going be be with, go he's going to be retired. Yeah. He's going to be what? Retire. Oh, Byron. Byron, yes. Okay. I thought you said Baron. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Byron, yeah. Yeah, he's going, to, he's going to retire one more season. I can see that being the case. But he, I think he's going to stay in Montreal and doing something for them. It will work with them. You know who he reminds yeah. me a lot? And maybe Roger and some people in the chat knows from Montreal. It reminds me of the case of Francis Bouillon. Yes, very much so. Very right. much so. Yeah. When, when I, we won the, the Memorial Cup in 1995 with the with Granby Bay, uh, by, uh, the Grand Bay uh, Predators, yeah. I was the, the video coach for them. And uh, right. do you know who was the captain? Probably. Uh, Francis Bouillon. Bouillon. Yeah. Yeah. And Francis Bouillon, yeah. that time, he was the smallest player. Yeah, but he had, boy, he, he had good wheels for a small guy. But <laughs> yeah. he, he had a, 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 a friend who said he, he, he looked in Garnot, uh, a, a rocket uh, shot every time that. He walked so hard. Uh, so, yeah. um, um, no quit. No quit. I wouldn't be surprised he's retired next year. Uh, with an agreement yeah. with Montreal Canadian or something like that, if it's the case. Yeah.
But he's looking good. His hip is not bothering him. I think he would like to play one more year for sure. And um, yeah, and like it would those work kind out. of players yeah. is he loved the Montreal. He loved the look. You know, you don't have no problem with him. It's a little bit like a little exactly. in the lineup. Yeah, yeah. They love the team. And maybe you don't have to play him 82 games. Well, that's it. You can rest him whenever you choose and to, right? You Give know, him a break. Jose, welcome back, by the way. Everybody talk about Justin Barron tonight. But nobody talk about Jesse Ellenen. Yeah, exactly. And he had a great game. He don't have a bad <laughs> game for the minute game. he played. Oh, on I the mean, power he, play, he, he show a couple of things like that. It's just when you play on the four line like this, you cannot show your talent because that right. line is with Perro, uh, with uh, and he cannot do anything with Dauphin, right? Uh, and other on, on the third though. line, second line, I'll be interesting to see that. He looked good on the power play. <laughs> yeah. I would put him on a shootout tonight, but that's not a subject. I don't want yes. to get there. Yes, I don't know why they didn't. Uh, the next two draft year will crucial for the abs, uh, look. Yes, they are important. They're very important, but I don't think you got to stress it because these guys have got the experience. They're going to know what to look for. So, uh, Johnny Golden said, did you like Justin Barron? Uh, we evaluate a John, John, uh, Johnny. Uh, I think yeah. he has a C, uh, a passed. C plus, if oh. you want to call it. Uh, yeah. Good skater. Um, you know, you good know, pop sense. Really, yeah. you know, he, he did what he's supposed to do. Not great, not bad. Uh, he got pinched one time. He got caught. He did not turn around the puck a lot. Uh, he was yeah. looking good on, power, on the OT. Did not do very bad. Uh, it's a learning process. It will be there for about two more years, jo uh, Johnny. But can he sit in his shell? Can he play level in his shell? Absolutely. He have a great skater, a great puck movement. He read a lot. He's aware about jumping. On the, he jumped twice on the John Rush on the offensive yep. side. Um, I'm happy what I saw. But not good so enough to say, I, wow, is, there, is this going to be, you know, patient is the yeah. key with that. But yeah. compared to Lagasson, uh, Lagasson, yeah, I speak French, Lagasson. Lagasson did yeah. not do well compared to Justin Barron. No, no, I no. I will go they, to Lagasson yesterday, yeah. a D. Yeah, yeah. No, so, I, he definitely, yeah, definitely a D for sure. And, uh, the, yeah, you give this kid a little bit more time, the more and more he plays, because he, you could tell there was nerves involved tonight, for sure. So he'll be fine, and he'll improve. Why so much high school uh, high score by Jake M? That's a good, good question. Um. Well, first of all, uh, that's why he gave a lot of gold the last couple of weeks. Seven gold, nine goals. Now yesterday, but today, uh, eleven gold. If you turn that. Right, um, I don't have no reason. Like, yes, there's no reason the flame and the order sh should be nine to five. No, that's what I mean. That was outrageous. Uh, that didn't make any sense. There was no, no defense in that game at all. Uh, absolutely Unreal. about that one over there. Yeah, Ram has a very good junior scorer. Yes, Peter it was really good. Uh, Peter, absolutely right about that. Uh, the pit lake has been always been a good career. I care about that one over there. Pit lake pushing uh, to spot out the door slowly, bit by bit. I'll be honest with you. He did not push Biron. He pushed Lekanen out. Yes, yes. He's the replacement for Lekanen in my not, opinion. Not on the wrong way. No. Right. No. But he made the jump from Montrose. Hey, we can trade Lekanen because we're pit lake. He, right here, and we can, we can keep him, and we get Justin Barron. If you turn like that, the, there right. was more shaker or more uh, no worries about that one over there. Exactly, um, exactly. At some point, look, Johnny, uh, Peter, or other people for the Montreal Canadian fans, they have to pick one of the two or one of the three, or uh, more like the two. They cannot carry on Armia and Biron together. No. No, they can't. Definitely not. Uh, so think, Colorado I is an AV favorite for the cup yet. Uh, we all said they have a lot of problems with Minnesota. Vegas, Edmonton, and people said Gary would be over the fiscal and beat them uh, too. I wouldn't be know, surprised the final conference the West will be Minnesota, Calgary. 
You think? Yeah. That could happen. That could happen. I wouldn't be but... surprised. Yeah. Let's yeah, said Brion was a bull. Well yep. That could happen. I, I same thing. I think between between the wild upsetting them or Vegas sneaks in. Be careful. Have a good night, Bryce. Be careful. Look what like, look what for son. Paul Biron and Ottawa. I don't think so. I think Paul Byron's going to finish his career in Montreal, and I do think he's got only about a season left. To tell you the truth, he'll be good enough to get them through while they're rebuilding, and then you'll see him hang it up, and then he'll work for him. That's what I think. I really do. He's just got too much heart for the club, and uh, yeah, yeah. Florida ninety four point Tampa probably eighty eight Boston eighty seven. And Toronto 87. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Toronto was <laughs> second yesterday morning. Oh, no. And probably was, was four. Uh, the, uh, Toronto became four at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah. Boston Can was number just... two this morning. Toronto was four. Now yeah. they are third. They are, uh, Tampa probably now was four, become number two. And now Boston yeah. jumped for two to third and Toronto from four to three with Boston. Crazy. Right. Right. It's going to be like that right to the end. <laughs> uh, Peter will be gone. Uh, Peter said, probably will be gone if you somehow convey someone to pick up money, come from good source, because he would prefer to live closer to home. Well, I think that's, I heard a bit of that today, that behind the scenes, and I've heard it last week as well from George LaRock listening to him and now i heard it again today from another source so it does sound like he does want to go closer to home and you know it makes sense he's at that stage montreal's not winning a cup anytime soon so it would be the time to do it and that's the other thing hughes has to say you know what he's saying about price as far as you know he's it's up to him he has to say that and uh all truthfulness, the, the source says, kid yourself not, he wants to unload that contract. Uh, Caprice with a game winner tonight, a cross check after the goal. Oh, wow. Wow. Can Will I Price play oh. a game? He will. I think he will. I think he will. I can't I believe... he can see now in April. Yeah. Because Montreal yeah. has no and problem with salary cap anymore. Right. Right. Uh, why did Florida games. get beat when they have a win yesterday? See, Florida, can, they know they're in. They know they're in. So they can decide to toy around with it a little bit. Plus, they're still gelling. These new guys are gelling in the lineup. So they could be playing with the lines a little bit. We don't know. I didn't watch the game. So I'm not sure what, you know, if they play or just trying different things with the lines. But they get, they've got the enough you know, uh, of uh, enough points built up that they can lose a couple games here or there. 158 likes, Danny. You thank you so much. And your reason why we are 158, by the way, thank you so much. Uh, right Armia will be deal this summer, uh, Peter said. Uh, I recommend the Capitals tomorrow. That would give me a uh, game crazy. Uh, if, Paul is, if Paul is from Ketsno, in this area, Right on. Mr. Brado Robledo, welcome aboard. Mr. Brado, thanks to joining us. Don't forget welcome. to click on the like and subscribe to the show. Depends what team won so many games. Uh, uh, Baron remind me a, a young, uh, of a young Pedrangelo. Uh, I don't know if he's as physical, right? But yes, his, his capability skating-wise and puck handling i yeah i can see some resemblances there his physical part i'm not sure if he's quite as physical but he's young he's got to fill out too right yeah i don't see potential no. i would have to think about another defenseman but i don't see that kind of players like potential no well but you just a skating Yeah, but Pelangelo is the guy can dominate a uh, number one defenseman, color stone, and yeah. you know, I mean, first yeah. call and defensive yeah. zone. Uh, I don't see that. I don't all. see Byron yeah. to become a number one. No, 
No, nor do I. Nor do I. Uh, the reaction might be on the third line right now. Uh, look at that 2-2 two -two goal that the Rock win the first half. It then make uh, that pass through the crease, a bit late background. Use him at the second, uh, uh, Nicholas. Um, yeah, right now they use Kem uh, Ren Pitlick on the second line. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, then they will until you know there's somebody oh, else. Use that's Evans, little... maybe. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah. Uh, but Devorek was on the mission a lot of face off tonight. By the way. Yes. Yes, he did well. Uh, unreal, Danny, for Sunday night. Uh, I'm out, Coach uh, Danny. Have a good night. Thank you so much for everybody. Have a good night, uh, Danny. Uh, look forward to see you tomorrow. Good job about that, uh, Bredo. Look for her. Nice, Danny. Uh, thank you, Bredo. Uh, nice, Adam. Uh, Panthers with Kenzie on Tuesday will be really a crazy game. It's going to be hard on the Habs. I yep. think. I think they're going to. I think they're going to play us a little harder than they did last time. Yeah, I agree with you about that one over there. Uh, about that, I will go through the all the questions, Mister Andrew, tonight. So that would be great about that. Uh, um yeah. look we're going to let you go honestly uh it's 10 30 sunday night it's a little new time but i think we did pretty good and uh, we answered all the questions and uh any want to add something before you go or uh, we should all be quite pleased with uh, you know at least they're fighting to the bitter end every night that's what we're seeing you know they're always in it so keep your chin up we're headed in the right direction but remember we are going to have moments trust me especially next year, if we get rid of a few more players, we might have a lot of moments that like that you're seeing in Detroit. I mean, that's all a part of a, these youngsters growing. The good uh, news for overall, uh, for Montreal, they can use Jake Allen all week. There you go. There and you we're go. helping exactly. a little bit about that one over there. And listen, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? But they play with, what, they have seven, nine, eight injuries still right now. Exactly. They still can't beat the injury bug. You know, if you, you think you're getting ahead and another two guys goes down. But like I said, positive night, A. Yes, it was a little difficult, but we hung in. We still got a point out of it, you know. So Luke said, third, he, third. Luke said I hope. Martin said we see next year. Don't hope. It's oh, already yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, it's done deal. He's definitely sticking around. No doubt in my mind. What do you think about the Jets barely winning? And they just tried to survive uh, Ren at that moment. They don't go nowhere. I don't see Vancouver yeah. go nowhere. Uh, it's too hard to chasing everybody right now with only 17, 18, 18 gold uh, remaining uh, at that moment. Yeah. I make a That's schedule yes, uh, this morning. I will show the schedule tomorrow during the show and everything like that. So um, that's where we're at. You're welcome to join me tomorrow for lunch if you want to. We can review the weekend and talking about hockey and anyway, it's no big deal. It's up to you. Um, right on. Just let me know, confirm by texting tomorrow morning so I can set up the graphic every time. Sounds good. Great job, Mr. Andrew. We love you. We thank you again. And we wish you an amazing, great, nice, sweet dream. I look forward to see you tomorrow, my friend. You take care, Coach, and everybody have a good night. You thank guys you. All have a good one. All right. It was Andrew Lepage from Nova Scotia, the insider, the Montreal Canadian for the Hockey Nation Live Show. It was great to always, Andrew, helping us to grow and to get better. And uh, love to talk about hockey with Mr. Andrew for sure. Uh, so that's what we are. The game, we are looking good. I agree with you, Ren, about this. What do you think about the? Yeah, I got it. Uh, Perry on playing to the Troy. Uh, I would be surprised. Roger, you're welcome. Uh, salut, Andrew. Thank you. Look, uh, on this, my friend, uh, we wish you Gabriel Poupou. Gabriel, uh, welcome back, buddy. <laughs> and one thing we learn also, guys, yeah, a lot of people, not a lot, but yeah, a few people, are always in the chat, or and but they never talk, and part, and I respect that. Uh, you know, like Alex and Mayer barely talk, or have other people, and that's part of what they are, and that's okay also, and I have no problem. But I just want to say to you, thank you to stay in the chat and listening to us night after night, and to be a part of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Whatever, we don't mention you in the chat because you never talk. I know you are there. And whatever, you, what is your name? We don't mention your name. We just want to say to you, we are really grateful and thank you uh, for that one over there. So we wish you an amazing great night, everybody. We wish you an amazing great week. Uh, and this is the last week on March. We have five weeks 
before the end of the season 2020, 2021, and 2022. Until then, my friend, we wish you an amazing great night. And uh, before we leave, we want to remind everybody. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, you have greatness inside of you. Yes, you have greatness inside of you. Yes, you are amazing. But until then, my friend, we wish you an amazing, great week. And then we want to let you know one more thing. Be well. Be hell. And find a way not only dominate your day. Find a way to dominate what, Mr. In our tap, he will say 2022. An amazing, great night, everybody. Sweet dream. And thank you again. And take a step out into night. the unknown. Thank you, Gabrielle. Not a problem, OZ. Anytime. RJ, love you. Alexander. Thank you. I talk, Alexander. Salut, mon Dieu. Adam, good night. Nicholas, good night. Sobrado, good night. Thank you, Danny, earlier.